dirt in me. You're beautiful. Is that burning? I can smell because it must be your pants. Are you not breastfeeding? No, no, it comes out. <laughs> she gets bottle and breast. Yeah, we like to mix it up a bit. It keeps her on her toes. Do you know what? I'm not sure if the baby cries because she's hungry or because she's got to look at this. Oh, come on, lady. What you need is a little trim and a blow dry. No, I've got stuff to do. Yes, you have. Oh, house is a tip. Enough to put burglars off. All right, Mum, give her a break. Haven't she got enough on her plate? She's got enough on her plate. I'm backwards and forwards to the hospital, helping to run the bistro and tidying up after you two. You've upset her now. Thanks. Oh. She's frightened of loud noises. Oh, I do beg your pardon. Do you know, Nick was a terrible crier. No, he wasn't. Yes, he was. He cried non-stop for at least 18 months. It used to drive me mad when I was minding him. And then someone told me that uh, if you drove him round in the car, that was a surefire way of getting him to sleep. Did it work? No, no, but with the radio full blast, I couldn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad we can all laugh while Nick's in a coma. I mean, no point in letting a little thing like that get us down, is there? Gail, please, look, I'm just trying to keep our spirits up. We're all as desperate as you are for Nick to wake up. Oh, that um, adoption stuff came through this morning, by the way. Oh, lovely. Oh, that means Max is yours just as much as Lily is. Oh. See you. And give my love to your mum. Will do. Thanks, Audrey. Bye, darling. Oh. Hey, come on now. Never mind your tweetering. I'm not. I'm looking at christening gowns. David, you can't have a christening while Nick's a ball, eh? Why not? I thought we'd be adopting Matt. No, he needs to be there, love. I just thought it'd be nice for us all to have someone to look forward to. You know, family, friends. Oh, come on. Well, why don't we throw a street party and have done with it, eh? Ask the neighbours. In fact, we could have a Pirates of the Caribbean theme. What? We could wheel Nick down the cobbles on a gurney. He could have a patch over his eye and a parrot on his shoulder. All right, Gran, calm down. What's wrong? David, your brother... My grandson has been in a coma for weeks. In fact, he may be brain damaged for life. It's a very nice idea, that's all. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, it is, love, it is. It's a lovely idea. It's just not while Nick's the way he is, all right? Hey. It took ages to get her off then. It does sometimes. David's much better with her than I am. He only has some of it at Rizzle Kicks and she's out like a light. He adores her. Don't. Well, that's a good thing. Is it? <sighs> the more he bonds with her, the more it'll break his heart if he finds out she's not his. You know, um, ever since the accident, I've thought, uh, well, if, if Nick did die... He's not gonna die. The doctors have said. That's what the doctors say. I'm his mother. I can't help but think the worst. And if the worst happens... Well, if Lily turns out to be his... She'd be all I had left of him. I don't know why you want to get her christened. This is what people do. But now you can even consider it with Nick still in a coma. Yeah, you know, that's what Gran said as well. I just thought it'd be something nice, you know, all the family together and positive. <laughs> But it won't be all the family, will it? Because Nick won't be there. Frankly, if Nick's not there, I don't see the point. Yeah, and I thought you wanted him for Godfather. Look, I just want us to be a proper family, that's all. Like you, me, Max and Lily. You are a proper family. Yeah. Dressing up old Ponzi and dunking her in water won't make any difference. Hello? There we go. All clean. Uh, do you want to take her? No, I've just done my nails. Not that it's made much difference. Everything all right? It's Leanne. He's woken up. So, what have they said exactly? What, he started to open his eyes. Oh, I wish I'd been there. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so happy. I knew he could do it. Look, if things are looking up now, maybe we could just get on with the christening. Um, let's just wait and see how he is, eh? Right. Well, I don't know how long we'll be, so... Oh, don't worry. We'll be fine, won't we, eh? See ya. See ya. Tina! Hi, 
had some good news. Nick's opened his eyes. Oh, that's brilliant news. Has he uh, set up or said anything yet? Uh, we don't know. We don't think so. No, it's still a massive development. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, we better get down there. Yeah. All right, good luck. He opened his eyes, but I hardly think he's going to sit up in bed and start yaddering to us all. Yeah? Yeah, and you okay? You said he woke up. What's happening? Yeah, he did, but it was really weird. He was just staring into space. Did you try speaking to him? He didn't say anything. It was like he wasn't even there. He didn't know me. Why have you stood like this forever? drifting in and out of sleep but it's a very positive development really it's important that you try and interact with him when you visit talk to him even if he doesn't appear to respond and how long before he can talk to us if he does it could still take a while and he may sound confused what well, so you're saying we shouldn't take what he says too seriously and is he likely to remember anything we're hopeful he'll fully regain his memory well, that's wonderful news. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Tina, it's me. Can you talk? Come to unburden yourself again, have you? You know, they said what happened today, Nick opening his eyes. It's the first step to him properly coming round. And when he does, I'll swing. David, you knew this was going to happen, right? You need to start facing up to what you did. You know, when the truth does come out, they'll pass a special law, a one-off hanging just for me. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. But what am I going to do, Tina? D do you ever think of anyone but yourself? If you hadn't woken up, David, you would have been a murderer, all right? You need to start counting your blessings. Yeah, I have, and I've got three of them. Lily, Kylie and Max. And when he wakes up, I'll lose them all. Yeah, we will try and kill him. You know what they've said? It might be a bit all over the place. He could come out with anything. Well, you know what to do, don't you? What? David, you know. I can't. You need to go home and you need to tell Kylie the truth. Oh, what? It's just as easy as that, is no. it? No. It's going to be the hardest thing you've ever done. But it's better hearing it from you than from Nick. No. David, otherwise, you're living in a fantasy world, right? And it's, it's all going to come crashing down around you. Well, forget it, Tina, all right? It's not happening. You look knackered. What do you expect? With this one going off every hour last night like a busted car alarm. You didn't help much either. What did I do? You kept fidgeting in your sleep and muttering and all. And what did I say? I don't know. I couldn't work it out. You're getting on my wick, though. I can tell you that much. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, I best get off. I'll cut your phone in sick. Look after Lily for a bit. Just, just so get me head down for a couple of hours. It's not a word, babe. Let's switch out a block at work until lunchtime, anyway. Well, oh, thanks for your support. Not. Look, everything I'm doing at the minute, right? I'm doing it for you, Max and Lily. So I'm trying my best here. Look. Why don't I take us out for something to eat tonight at the bistro? I don't want something to eat. I just want to sleep. I'm not in a going out kind of mood, anyway. Right, well, I'll call and I'll get something from Chippy later. whoop de doo my hero. Oh, and before I forget, I spoke to the vicar, right, about the christening, so they're coming round on Friday. Oh, can't we put it off for a while? No, it's important for Lily, and for us. For you, you mean? When did you start getting so religious anyway? Well, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. See you now. Bye. <laughs> I thought she'd never go. I swear, if I have to hear another story about her incontinent cat, I will scream. Are you all right? You're very quiet today. Yeah, I'm just thinking, that's all. You're worried about Nick, I know. We all are, sweetheart. Just got to be patient. Yeah, I know. Thing is, he's not the only one. There's Kylie and all. Oh, dear. There's nothing wrong, is there? Well, even apart from the fact that Lily's been keeping her up all night and turned her into a complete head case. No change there, then. <laughs> well, this is different. She's always really down and miserable and... Snapping at me all the time. Well, she's probably just exhausted, sweetheart. I mean, I was just the same when I had your mother. I mean, don't get me wrong, I loved her to pieces, but for the first few months she drove me up the wall. There's no change there either. <laughs> yeah, now you mention it. No, it's like this morning, right? She was in a right mood. So I said to her, why don't I take you out for something to eat tonight in the bistro? And that was it then. 
just went off on one and saying how she was really tired and she didn't want to go out. Why don't you stay in and cook or something then? Grant, I'm trying to cheer her up, not finish her off. <laughs> Sweetheart, it's easily fixed. If the mountain won't come to Mohammed. Is Callie still asleep? Yes. Right, good. Did you put oven on? Yes, David. Right, the chef says stick him in for half an hour and they should be good to go. Yes, well, I'll do that. Come on. All right. And uh, thanks for this, Gran, as well. It's a great idea. Let's just hope it does the trick, eh? What's going on? Oh, um, you know I said I'd take you to the bistro for something to eat to cheer you up. Who said I were in a bad mood? No one. I said I didn't want to go out anyway. Yeah, I know, so... So, now, David's asked the chef at the bistro to make some of it up for you and Milad has just brought it over. And you brought the flowers? Oh, well, that was David's idea, no? Yeah. I just want to show you how much I love you, that's all. Right. So where's the wine? Well, I thought you weren't drinking. I'm allowed a glass. Yeah, all right, fine. Well, I'll, I'll nip to Dev's then. Got to keep him on the toes. Oh, God. <laughs> Putting it away a bit, aren't you? Hey, it's thirsty work, this cooking lark. You pulled it out of the oven. We're rather talking Gordon Ramsay here, are we? <laughs> Having said that, it would have nice. I'm sorry if I've been a miserable cow lately. It's just... I'm not sleeping, don't exactly bring out the best in us. Listen, you ain't got to explain anything, all right? It's not exactly been easy lately. I know, but it don't mean I can take it out on you. You haven't exactly been having a great time of it either. Still, at least we've got each other, eh? And Max and Lily. Yeah. Yeah, at least we got that. Hiya. Um, oh, hi. Are you uh, coming or going? Uh, I'm going. Why was it important? Hi, no. I've been looking for you everywhere. You're going to have to cancel that vicar. Lily's proper snotty. She's been right mardy bum all day. So? So? I don't want to kick off in the middle of... Oh. What? Are we going to have to pray? No. And she won't be kicking off, all right? And even if she does, I get my mum to walk around the block a few times. So just chill out, Kylie. The rev will only be there for half an hour anyway. You just have to pick a few hymns, go through the order of service. I don't know what you're getting so worked up about. No, it's just I'll be going to the hospital later on. Right. Well, you better be back by five o'clock. Well, I will, Kylie. Is there anything I should expect? Well, he's still sleeping a lot. And what about when he's awake? What? His mouth's just going. What, dribbling? No, like he's... Making noises as if all the words are there, but he can't quite say it. Well, don't freak out. It is a bit upsetting when you first see it, but well, he's still battling on, eh? And has he said anything? No, just making sounds. Still, he'll get there. It's all progress, isn't it? Poor oh, Vicar. Love to be a fly in the world for that one. Kylie doing her best, Mary Berry, handing out the old maid muffins. <laughs> David's deadly serious about this christening, though. He's really getting into it. Nick, did, did you... Gina, you just squeezed me and... Oh, come on, Nick, do it again for me, please. Come on. Wasn't it just a spasm? No, no, it wasn't. It, it was definitely a squeeze, like he was listening. You were listening, weren't you? Oh, come on, what are you trying to say? Tell me. Well, they've warned me not to read too much into it, but I know what I felt. I was telling him all about Lily's christening. He went like that. Did, did his eyes open again? Well, no. I could have been dreaming. Oh, David, don't rain on me parade. Don't you see? All these weeks when we've been stood there feeling daft, thinking we're talking to a wall. The doctors are right. He's been listening to every word. He's been listening and now he's ready to speak. It's amazing when you think he could have died. Oh, haven't you got your key? You're cutting it for me now, aren't you? Kylie? Esther Warren. Reverend Warren, I'm here about Lily's christening. Yes. yes. So the next thing you know, we just started spinning out of control, and then we, we came to a dead stop, and then the lorry just crashed into us. I mean, we didn't even see it coming. It was just a terrible accident, though. It was nobody's fault. All right, so no matter what the police try and say to you, Nick, you have to remember that. It, it was just an accident, nobody's fault. God, I hope you can hear me. Nick? Leanne? How long you been there? Long enough. 
I don't see how talking him through the crash is going to help. <laughs> well, you know how much he worries about everything. I mean, he's Mrs. Brady, old lady, isn't it? Look, I just wanted to close it down, that's all, and let him know it wasn't his fault. And reassure him that I'm OK and, you know, he's going to be OK. Now, listen, Mum's doing my head in at home. And it's all right for you, living it up here, while you're getting bed baths off all the fit nurses. I'm at home getting reminded approximately every 20 seconds about all your qualities and all your talents, and it's boring. You know what? You're a lot better at this than me. I actually read him last week's taking yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, no wonder he's in a coma, then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good one. Hey, shouldn't you be with a vicar? It's all right, Carly can saw it. No, David, come on. Go on, we've done enough. You squeeze my hand again. Nick, can you hear me? Did you see it? Yeah. Yeah, it's brilliant. <sighs> Coming out of the woods, aren't you, eh? Slowly but surely. Not exactly not believe. I mean, there's got to be summer. If I'm going to be stuck here in Weatherfield till I snuff it, there's a big fat nothing at the end of it. <laughs> Kill me now. No offence. Oh, none taken. Bickies. Yeah. Oh, smash it. Oh. David! What the hell are you playing at? I don't know how to talk to a flaming vicar. Oh, mayday, mayday. Sars, Gail must have scoffed them all. <laughs> do you know what? Maybe we should just do this another day. Oh, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm all right for a bit. Come on. But I just need you to wake up for more than a few seconds. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it for me. Come on. Hello, you. It's all right. Everything's going to be all right. As long as it takes, I'm going to be by your side. New house rules. You can have Formula One on 24-7. Football as well. Wet towels on the bathroom floor anytime you like. I just want you to come home. Uh. Hey. Did you see him? Did you see him? He looked right at me. I mean, he did. He looked right at me, didn't he? Yeah. Did you see his eyes? They were probably focused and he knew it was me, didn't he? Yeah, he, he did. He didn't know he, it was me. He did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? You recognising me like that? Yeah, we'll be talking before we know it. You look beat. No, I'm just having a bad air day, that's all. Why don't you go on and get some rest? I'm staying if you are. I just hate leaving him. But I need to get round to Deirdre's and see how Si. Right then, if you make a bid for freedom. Yeah, can do. I'll be back first thing. I love you. David, you've not said goodbye. Oh, he knows I'm here. Where's Mum? Nope, sorry, my psychic powers have left me. I'm laughing on the inside. I had to make small talk with the Vicar of Flaming Dibley. Big deal. You know I don't do vicars. Whatever. David, you're the one who's so desperate to have Lily christened. I don't even believe in the devil or hell. Look at you. Lily's been screaming the house down. And that's my fault because... It's quarter past nine. You can't do this to me. I am bone tired, running an empty, and then you have to talk to some vicar about God and stuff. What, and do you think I've been on some pub crawl or something, eh? I've been sat with my comatose brother, Kylie. Then let Leanne do the bedside bit. 
I know you love him, but you've got responsibilities here. What? Are you for real? Are you actually for real? I do everything for this family. I work like a dog. I do more than my fair share with the kids. Not to mention propping my mum up. Right, well, I'm talking about... The one about... time... Listen to me. The, the one time I let you down, it's because you can't organise a time and a date by yourself. When I'm flat out and I'm born tired, you're on my case. Oh, you think I like nagging? Oh, uh, yada, yada, yada. Kylie, my brother, right? My only brother is lying there might spend the rest of his life on four wheels and or totally gaga and you're bleating on about your hard life. You push for the vicar. So the least you could do is show up. And I do not bleat. Thank you. No, no, you don't. You're, you're perfect in every way, aren't you? When have I ever yeah? said that? Mm? Walking round, like butter won't melt. Are you drunk or something? I wish. I was ringing and ringing and you're telling me you couldn't hip out just for five minutes to let me know what was happening yeah oh <laughs> poor little kylie hmm still it's better than paul dancing in it hey. and he smiled on saturday girl didn't he when you were there uh, what do you think who well, don't you yeah, thank you, Dick. That's great, that. Proper progress. Yeah, and when I walked in yesterday, I said, hey, Nick, and he opened his eyes and smiled again. Oh, well, he could teach David some, eh? You want to get down the hospital, David? Nick's going through hell and he still manages to be nice to his wife. I said I'm sorry. Don't ask. No, you've not. Well, then I'm saying it now. What's he done? He was out of order, stressing about Nick. I had a big kick-off with Kylie and I took it out on her because she was the nearest one there. Was that about cover it? Not even close. Right then, I best be off. Uh, you coming down later on? Uh, yeah, as soon as I finish at the bistro. Right, I'll see you all later then. Trevor. See ya. Well, I did say I'm sorry. All right, it's just you were too angry to listen. What did you blame me? No, I don't. I was really horrible, and I feel really bad about it. You don't look like you do. Well, I, I do. All right, I swear. Just everything got on top of me. That's all. And I had this big rage on, and I took it out on you, and I shouldn't have done. I'm sorry, am I forgiven? Max, you're gonna be late for school. Kylie. I really do think he feels rubbish. I mean, look at him. Oh, go on, Kylie, let him out of the doghouse, at least for a little bit, go on. Front paws. Front paws. Front paws is a start. Yeah. So what, um, Nick was smiling then? Yeah, I, th I think he was. I hope he was. At least he's more aware. You know, I mean, he's recognising people. And that's progress, isn't it? Yeah. Good. Right, I'm off to work. Are you all right to do this for me? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> it's all right. What is it? Oh. Squeeze my hand. Oh, dear. Oh. I think he's trying to speak. I doubt we're going to get any sense out of him for a while. Yeah, but it's good that he's trying, though, isn't it? Just like the old days, eh, babe? Rolling in on a Saturday night slow in your words, have to wait till Sunday to find out what you're going on about. They didn't really. Uh, Come on, what is it? Uh, I'm sure you've got lots to tell us, but there's no rush, love. Are you ready for your physio? Um, I'm just going to go and let his mum and his grand know that he's trying to speak. You'll need to stay patient, Liam. Yeah, I am. See you in a bit. Don't leave it too long next time, Liam. You'll we'll have to bring it. I'd like to see you along with you. I bet her hair's long enough to cut now. Thank you. See, uh, I'll just through the back. Mum came in before. She's, um, a bit upset. Right, so what are we doing today? She's determined. He smiled. Well, I mean, maybe he did. Maybe, maybe it was a smile, she said. it. It's happened before, but... I know she's trying to stay positive, ma'am, but... Well, I just don't know. I walk back into that room and I see him lying there and I just... Oh, my beautiful boy. Stop it, stop it. Now, come on. There is no shame in letting the mask slip, you know. <laughs> Certainly not here with me, my darling. Come on. We both know you're going to leave this salon and put that hopeful look back on your face and support Nick and Leanne in any way you can. Yes. Yes. I will. Of course you will. You know... And I bet there are some days when you're being positive that Leanne would like to give you a slap, eh? <laughs> <laughs>
Sweetheart, he smiled. And if he never does anything else in his life, he smiled. So whatever's going on in that head of his, it can't be all bad, can it, eh? And did you get that text from Leanne? Yeah, it's saying he was talking. Oh, well, yes, gobbledygook. But talking, nevertheless. And, you know, soon it's going to be words, and then it's going to be sentences. Then he'll be able to tell Leanne to rein it in all by himself. Your one o'clock ran before Mrs Stone. She says she's got your pink off. Baby. <sighs> you couldn't call me a spaceship, could you? Have me beamed up. Yeah, plus it's phone book. <sighs> Just one of them piccalilly nappies that got everywhere. <sighs> I'm a time between putting the duvet in the wash and setting fire to the bedroom. What are you doing back here, anyway? Grand sent me out. You haven't been arguing again, have you? No, we were quiet. Probably sick of the sight of you looking miserable. Yeah, it won't surprise me. I reckon we both need beaming up, you know, get away from this place. Where to? Start with Piccadilly Station. Take a look at the board, jump on a train somewhere. Oh, yeah. Well, why not? Get away from all the stress and start again. Just the four of us. You know, living here, there's always someone to put the nose in. That's why we always end up falling out. No, we fell out because you were horrible to me. Now what? Look, just bring her down. No, I needed to kick. Come on, let, let's go out somewhere. What, to the train station? I don't know, anywhere. Just out. This isn't about Nick again, is it? Because I'm sure he's going to be OK. Leanne looked really hopeful, No, morning. it's not about Nick. Right, well, we'll take Lily to the park then. But you're not serious about springing us all out of here, are you? You're just stressed. Mint Imperials, and then when I got to the counter, I ordered bonbon. What and why? Play old me, feel him. Follow that. Right. How you think you're going to say one thing and then something else comes out of your mouth? Stella was in the cabin. By all accounts, can't wait to get out the Rovers. Oh, can you blame her? Must feel like it's haunted, that place. Must be awful, isn't it? Love him. I'm working in a place that builds like that to him. Nick managed to confront his demons over the tram crash, but not everyone's the same, are they? Oh! Oh! Oh, I wish I hadn't started on these. They're going to stick my jaw together. Mm. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Nick just squeezed me hand when you said... You said about the bonbons sticking your jaw together when you were going on, sorry. Oh, you are still in there, aren't you, eh? <laughs> oh, thanks. What do you think's going on in his head? I think he's asleep. Yeah, but he's such a dreamer, though. I had to make this rule that we didn't spend every breakfast getting a blow-by-blow -blow account of what he dreamt about the night before. I didn't think of him as a dreamer. Oh, don't get me wrong. They're not the sort of dreams you'd make films about. <laughs> I remember once he told me he felt like he'd spent the whole night queuing up at the post office. And as soon as he got to the counter, he woke up. <laughs> <laughs> David was the dreamer. Could make films out of his. Not films you'd want to watch, though. Always anxious chases and accidents. People not who they say they are. People out to get him. No, I think he'd prefer the post office queue. It's amazing the brothers at all, really. <laughs> hey, hey. It's okay, it's me. It's Leanne. Hey, eh, Lily? Look at her. <laughs> David, what are you staring at? A tree there, big and, and all green and that. It's like we come back in a month's time and that'll be dead and brown. I like it when the leaves change. 
We'll have to bring Max on a windy day. A pair of you can see who can catch the most leaves. That sounds thrilling. Well, Max would think so. I liked what we were on to earlier, getting away somewhere. We? Oui, that was you. Well, we could go back to Tenerife. <laughs> we got to that club that we met at. <laughs> he was happy then. That was a whole baby ago. My cage dancing days are well behind me. You're still gorgeous, though. Oh, yeah, right. And flying with a kid and a baby. I've always hated them kind of travellers. How many times, Kylie? You shouldn't worry about what other people think. I mean, it's what we want that matters. You really do feel bad about kicking off at me, don't you? Yeah. Well, yeah, a bit of sunshine would be gorgeous, but... I'll be honest, we couldn't go now, could we? Not until Nick's better. Ooh! That's what that face was about. Yeah! Nappy filling. There you go, Daddy. Uh, Back down to Earth. Thanks. I should go and get Max. Why are you not enjoying being out? Yeah, I am. It's nice to chill. Shame about the weather. <laughs> I feel guilty, that's all. Why? Guilt's stupid. What's the point? Can't we just spend some time on our own, just the three of us? Max will be fine. I suppose. You're right about getting out. It's nice. We should do this more. Yeah, I hope we can. We're so lucky, you know. You think about what Leanne's going through. You think you feel like running away sometimes. Imagine what she feels like. I don't know how she copes. Must be breaking her heart. Hey, hey, hey. Got yourself in a right old state there, didn't you, eh? It's okay. What is it? A drink? Do you want a drink? He's trying to talk. It's okay, it's okay. Just relax. Just relax. Maybe just stop trying so hard, eh? Whisper. Might make it easier for you. It's okay. I'm listening. David. David isn't here. Oh, I can't believe it. We should tell somebody. David. It's fine. David wasn't hurt in the accident. Shall I get the nurse? Yeah. David. Listen, David's fine. He walked away with a few cuts and bruises. Oh, this is wonderful. I thought I'd never hear your voice again. He's talking? Yes. He said his brother's name. He was in the van with him. I think he's fretting about him. But it's good, isn't it, that he's talking again? Yes, I'll let the consultant know. But he mustn't get too het up or overtax himself. It's all right, Nick. Everything's fine. No, David. I promise you. David's fine. Oh, Gail, this is no good. Either he's not going in or he thinks we're hiding somewhere. Perhaps if he was able to see his brother and know he was all right. Yes, yeah, can you can you call him yeah, and get him I'll in? Get him it's okay. It's okay. It's nice here. Yeah, it's all right. Shame about that graffiti, though. What about Wayne Rooney? <laughs> you reckon that's true? <laughs> I don't know. You'd have to ask Colleen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could do that. Not straight away. I don't even know. Someone's late for the tea. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Nick's getting better. He'll be out here playing footy with Sam in no time. You're not getting that? No, if it's important, I'll leave a message. We ought to be getting back, actually. Well, we're all right, aren't we? We'll just do a feed. <laughs> oh. Just leave it, Kyle. No, I don't get that many calls these days. I can't afford to be picky. It's your mum. Hiya, Gail. Yeah, yeah, he's here. I'll pass you over. Go on, it sounds important. Hello? Really? What do you say? No, I'm still here. All right, well, I'll be there as soon as I can. All right, bye. Well, he's talking again. He's not making a lot of sense, but well, I feel like I've got a bit of him back, you know. Oh, oh, that is so wonderful. What exactly did you say? David, over and over. <laughs> After all he's been through, his first concern was for his brother. Not a second thought for the rest of us. Yeah, so we've called him in, though. I can't understand why he's taking so long. Well, he's not been very well today, actually. I mean, he knocked off work early. Well, he was in the park with Kylie when I called him. He didn't sound himself, though. 
Uh, well, perhaps he was just trying to clear his mind. Well, I wish he'd get a shift on. He was really upset before. We couldn't do anything with him. And I just feel like when he sees David, it'll give him a peace of mind, you know? I'm, I'm going to go back in. Wake up at any time. I don't want him getting worked up again. Where is he? Look, he'll have had to take Kylie home. And then he'll have to get the bus, love. And you know what these wayfarers are like. You have more chance of seeing Brigadoon most nights. <sighs> It has been nearly an hour. Yeah, you're right, Gail. Can you call him again? Just find out where he is. Just tell him to get here. We need him here tonight. No, he's here, he's here, he's here. Oh, oh. David, where have you been? Sorry, the bus was late and then the traffic was full on. Never mind, you're here now. He'll be pleased to see you. Yeah. David's here, your brother. And look, he's fine, just like we told you. He seems pretty out of it. I'll come back later. No, try talking to him. We've plenty of time. Well, I don't know what to say. David, you've been talking to him for weeks. It's no different. Tell him about Lily. You never need any excuse in the salon. Go on. Um, hey, mate. It's uh, David. I just wanted to let you know I'm okay. And I'm, I'm really sorry about what happened. He's waking up. Yeah, keep talking, keep talking. Um, we've all been really worried about you, but we're, we're pleased you're getting better. Yeah, we see, we told you. David's just fine. Look, look, it's David, he's here, and he, just like you wanted. No. No. Hey. What? I didn't, I didn't do anything. It must be the shot. Oh, is he all right? I don't know. Nurse! Nurse! It's all right. Really? What's going on? Away, What's he doing? Please, I need you to step into the corridor now. All right, Nick. It's okay. Lay down, lay back. It's all right. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Everything's fine. There. <sighs> well, um, his heart rate's returned back to normal and he's sleeping now. Um, the doctor reckoned that it was probably a panic attack, possibly brought on by seeing David. Sorry. Oh, no. It's not your fault. The doctor reckons it's not unusual for patients with head injuries. So he's not worried? It didn't seem to be. Well, what brought his arm? Well, they reckon it could have been a number of things. He might not have recognised David, or seeing David might have reminded him of the accident. Oh, yes. Oh, goodness, no wonder he was spooked. Poor Nick. Well, I'm not going to get upset. He's on the mend. He'll be back to his old self soon and we can all get on with our lives again. Where are you going? I'm just going to go for a walk, get some air. Yeah, I'll come with you. No, 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 it's fine. I won't be long. Do you think I should go? No, no, let him go, lovey. Come on. He's had a shock tonight. Let's give him time to clear his head a little, OK? I didn't touch his eyes. Nick started talking. I see. Um, when you mean talking? Well, not properly, not yet. He's not dobbed me in yet, but he will. Well, he should. You know, you know you might get lucky. No. <laughs> you see, he kept saying my name over and over. So they brought me in to see him, didn't they? And when he saw me... What? What happened? What do you think? He was terrified, Tina. It's because he remembers. He remembers everything. David, not necessarily. I mean, he could be confused and disorientated. No. no, I saw his eyes. He knows. Well, this was likely to happen. You knew that. I was. So is that supposed to make it all right? Well, what am I going to do? Look, I don't know, David. You brought this on yourself. I don't want to get involved. I didn't want to get involved and I found out the truth. Tina, I'm finished. As soon as he starts talking properly, I'm going to lose everything. All right, I'll lose Kylie. I'll, I'll lose my daughter. Look, I don't know what you want to say. I'm sorry. Listen, and I know I deserve a lot of things, okay? But you 
can't tell anybody anything. All right, you just can't. It's everything will come out. Kylie and Leanne, they'll never forgive us. All right, then both of us will be finished, Nick. Both of us. I'm begging you. Don't say anything, Nick. I'm begging you, don't. So have you got everything? Yeah. Right, come on then. David's taking you to school, aren't you, David? About what? Taking Max to school, it were you that said you would. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Are you all right, or have you just not woken up yet or something? No, fine. Nick will be fine. Don't you worry. Well, I'm not worried. I'll see you later. Bye, Max. Be good. Bye. Bye, love. I think you're right about him worrying. I know I am. But don't you start. We don't know why Nick reacted the way he did. Maybe he saw David and it looking back to the crash. Maybe he thought he was still in it. You think? I do. Or maybe he saw David, remembered everything about me and him and how Lily could be his. It's possible. More than possible. And you know it. Anyway, I'm going to go and get this one registered this morning. See if that cheers David up a bit. <laughs> Gonna go and get you made official, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm off to registry. They're not gonna ask me any weird questions, are they? Well, you should know you've done it before. Oh, I don't feel like I've done it before. Cos then I didn't have an husband. Or anybody then. Well, you know what it's been like with Lily. Folk coming round saying, oh, ain't she lovely and wanting to hold her and that. I do. Made me feel proud. Like this is something fantastic I've done. Well, it is. Yeah, well, there were none of that with Max. It was like I'd done the worst thing ever. Do you know what? I think I'm going to go and see Nick after. See if I can get through to him. Get through to him and say what? Just remind him how we have to keep what happened a secret. Which I know you might not agree with because you think I should have told David everything, no. but... I don't. Not anymore. Well, you did. But not now. I've seen the four of you together. I've seen what a wonderful little family you are. The past... Well, we can't change it, can we? But... Well, we don't have to let it spoil everything. I well, know I don't want to. You're a lovely mother and a lovely wife to David. That's all that matters. Yeah. I just need to make sure that Nick knows that. Hiya. Is Nick all right? Well, he seems a lot calmer. Good. Yeah, you're telling me. I thought I might pop in and see him this afternoon. Oh, yeah, yeah, do. And um, bring some photos of Lily and all. they like that. And about Nick? Excuse me, I was talking to Leon. So I can't actually talk to two people at once. Is he feeling better? You know what, sometimes I feel like I should wear one of them sandwich boards. Nick is awake and he's talking, but not that much. I'll call in and see him this afternoon. Yeah, thanks. See ya. Yeah, see ya. So, Nick's on the mend. Well, fingers crossed. He's awake and talking, which is more than I even dared hope for. I'll give him my love, yeah? Yeah, I will, thanks. And Simon sends a big hello. Might bring him in for half an hour after. Simon. Yeah. What else? What else? Oh, yeah. I saw Kylie. She said she might pop in later as well, so you can have a busy day. Kylie. Do you remember I told you about a little girl? Lily. It's a nice name, isn't it? Can you say it? Lily. So there we are then, all dead official. Mm. Lily Platt. <laughs> Does this mean she can vote now? <laughs> Not yet, she can't. They asked me if I wanted a second name, but I said, no, what's the point? Unless you're frightened we're going to lose the first one. <laughs> I'll wear it out. <laughs> oh, I bumped into Leanne earlier. I said I'd go and see Nick. Yeah, well, there's no rush. But I said I'd go in this afternoon, because I've not seen him since he's come round. 
Yeah, but he's not properly come round yet, though. David, do you not want me to go or something? No, it's not that. Of course it's not. It's just... Don't expect too much, that's all. I mean, he's still in a bad way, and he, he might say things that don't make a lot of sense, that's all. Well, we all do that. No, but weird stuff, like about the accident or something, so just don't take too much notice, all right? All right, okay. Well, oh, when? Your wife told you I was coming in, did she? Yeah, and that you were after some money. Hey, aren't we all? I don't get smart feeling. If I was smart, Owen, you'd have had your money ages ago. Trouble is, I'm not. Here, look. Look at this. Bankruptcy order issued against Patrick James Phelan. It's no joke. I've lost everything. So why I get an house like this if I go bankrupt? It's in the wife's name. I don't own a thing. I'm not allowed. Are you denying that you owe me nearly four grand? I've told you. Are you denying it? No. And I really want to pay you. Good! Can't though, can I? Well, raise some cash on this place. Owen, I'm bankrupt. I'm not allowed to borrow anything. Nobody would lend me anyway. What, you think I'm going to walk away and forget about these? I'm really, really sorry, mate. Don't call me mate, all right? I'm not your mate. Last time, are you paid me? Last time? I can't. We'll be talking about this again. Very soon. Just talk to him like you would normally. Hey, Nick. How you feeling? Um... You're okay, aren't you? Of course you are. Remember I told you Kylie's had the baby? Like I told you? Oh, of course you remember. I told you loads of times, haven't I? And I'm sure David has and all. Gorgeous little girl. Um... You trying to say congratulations? Yeah, I think he is. How are you getting on, anyway? She giving you much sleep? <sighs> yeah, not bad. David's great. She only has to make the slightest noise and he's out of bed seeing to her. Aww. Good for him. Hey, did you hear that? Your David's turned out to be a brilliant dad. Mind you, he's always been good with Max, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. Yeah, just like you have with our si, eh? Funny, isn't it? Gail must have done something right to produce two sons who've both become brilliant dads. She's all right, is Gail. Yeah, when you get used to her. <laughs> Listen, would you uh, mind sitting with him for a bit while I go and get a coffee? I've had a drink all morning. No, no, you go. All right, thanks. Um, have you got some photos on you and all? Yeah, yeah, I've got loads on my phone. Oh, we'll have a look at Lily when we get back. I'm just going for a coffee. They love that. You look tired. It's probably because I am. <laughs> well, why don't you have a rest, eh? I'll see to her if she needs it. Oh, will you? <laughs> of course I will. It's what I'm here for. Do you know what? I might actually nip out for half an hour. Go for as long as you like. Look like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Yeah, I am actually a bit worried about global warming, to tell you the <laughs> truth. Yeah, then do you want to... Yes, I do. Great. Okay. 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 I've got you. Grandma's got you. Uh, I won't be long. Oh, hello. Don't worry, I'm gonna come for a drink. I'm glad to hear it. So, Carly's gone to see Nick. Yeah, I know. I started talking to Leanne this morning. Nick, yeah, so listen. Question is, what if he tells her that I try to kill him? Right, you might even top it off by telling her that I've known about him and her all. David? I thought you were coming for a drink. Yeah, I have. I'm just bringing you up to speak with the local news. No, no need. 219. What's that? I was looking at pictures of Lily, because Leanne made me show them to him. Yes, well, she would. And then he starts trying to talk, which he's still not right good at. No, I know. And he's talking about Lily. And he's saying, mine. Mine! Of course, Leanne didn't know what were going on. Oh, it was just horrible. Well, they must just be thoughts in his head. I mean, they'd just be going round, and he can't stop them coming out. Anyway, it were okay just, because Leanne decided he must have been trying to say my niece. You don't think he was? No, because of the way he were looking at me. 
My baby is what oh, he was trying to say. Please God, anything but that. So now I'm thinking, what happens when he can talk properly? Is he going to go back to keeping what happened a secret? Or has something flipped in his head and now he's going to tell everybody everything? That's a nice look, isn't it, Kylie? Do you think it's too young for me? But it's gone now. It was a sort of sailor suity thing, you know, with collots, navy blue. Mm. Maybe I'm too old for a sailor suit. I think everybody's too old for a sailor suit. Oh, hiya. Hi. Any news? Um, yeah, um, it's all still good. He's had a settled night and then he woke up again. Oh, I don't know, it's enough to send you mad, isn't it? Oh, love. I was just coming to ask it a big favour. Yeah, of course, go on. The thing is, we've got this big booking at the bistro at lunchtime. Oh, yeah, you're all right. Oh, hi, David. Um, yeah, it's her 50th wedding anniversary. There's about 20 of them. And I'd rather sit with Nick, you know I'd rather sit with him. It's just, I don't really want to say goodbye to this booking. I just need to keep things going for him, you know? You're spinning all the plates, aren't you, love? Yeah, and I'm sorry, Gail, I'm... I'm gonna have to ask you to work and all. Um, and I was just wondering, David, would you be able to sit with Nick just for a couple of hours, you know, over lunchtime and maybe into the afternoon, just so I can oversee things at the bistro? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm not sure that's a good idea. Yeah, he had a panic attack last time I saw you. <laughs> what, so I'm supposed to avoid him now for the rest of my life? Yeah, and he is a lot calmer now. Yeah, but he was in the van when it happened. And... No wonder it gives him flashbacks. Well, I said I'd do it, all right? Are you sure? Yeah, of course I am. It's the least I can do. Right, Gail, I'll see you at the bistro later on. Bye, Kelly. Yeah. I'm not sure you're up to this, David. Well, I don't care what you think. I think it's lovely how you make an effort for Nick. I'm sure he appreciates it. Well, it's better than him looking at the big black rings under my eyes from all the sleepless nights. <laughs> I look like I've been out on a bender. I wish. He does love you, you know. More than anything in the world. Get through this, you can get through anything. Yeah. Anyway, I better go and sit with him. I'm going to be there till 12 and then your David will be there. I'll sit with him if you like, you know. I could get Tina to change the shift. No, thanks, girl. It's all sorted. And to be honest, I kind of trust you more than Tina. <laughs> well, yeah. I am a bit classier. Yeah, and anyway, I think it'll do the brothers good to be together, you know. Don't you think? Especially now Nick's more responsive. Yeah, of course. Anyway, see you later. Shy. Avoiding us more like. Bingo. What, there's a window open, so what? Do you want to get them ladders? You breaking in? No, you are. Gary, we can't let them get away with this. Well, why can't you go up there? Because I'm delegating to the man with experience, Alan Sugar would say I was a genius. Look, you do realise that house like this will have a burglar alarm, don't you? Yeah, well, if he's forgotten to shut the windows, maybe he's forgotten to put it on. Anyway, if it goes off, we'll just say we're window cleaners. What, and you just, you just fell into the house, did you? Well, he can't do out. I'd like to see him try. All right. Ladder's coming up. Have you done my colour? Hmm? Oh, David, give it a I'll do it myself. No, I can do it. It's fine. Don't let's get into you today. You know they're using an ornament. Well, my brother's just come out of a coma. Are you so thick you'd forgotten? Are you? Cheeky. Two things, David. One, I'm not thick. Oh, is that right? And two, he is out of the coma, so excuse me for thinking that's actually a good thing. What are you now, Maria? I know that Mrs. McGinty's round the corner waiting for a Titian temptation. You know nothing. Oh, and um, by the way, I will be going to the hospital today to sit with Nick for a few hours, so you won't have to put up with this all day. Oh, there is a god. Just tabloid tarts falling out of clubs, politicians misbehaving, and footballers who are all paid too much. Same old, really.
Kill me too. Is that enough? Thank you. That's all right. It's what I'm here for. Well, actually, I won't be here for much longer because we've got a 50th wedding anniversary booked in at the bistro. But don't worry, Davy's going to come and sit with you. 50 years. That'll be us one day. You don't mind, do you? It's just I didn't want to mess up a big booking for you, you know? No. Good. David, eh? Yeah. You're not going to freak out, are you? No. Yeah, Gail, I know I'm going to be late. Well, he's not here yet. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. No, no, the finest they are. Gail, I said no. Right, thank you. See you in a bit. Oh, honestly, can you believe it? She wanted to shape the napkins into swans. <laughs> hey, you, if you couldn't go to sleep, I may as well go. But David will be here in a bit as well, so... I don't mind, do you? See you later. Oh, David. Oh, he's coming to death then. Sorry. Listen, he's a uh, spark out now, and you probably will be for the rest of the time you're here. I'm just glad you are. Thanks for this. Yeah, it's fine. See you in a bit. I'll see you. I see you didn't give that to the Inland Revenue then. Hi, Carl. What are you doing here? Well, we did tell you that we wouldn't rest until we get our money back. So. Are you looking for a smack in the face? Oh, yeah, hey? Hey! Oh, man! Ah! Do you know how much that's worth? About five times what I owe him, you little brat! And you won't mind coughing up for it, will you? I get the nurse. What's my? Nothing. Hello, David. All right. Let it be tight. Thought I'd a spare pair in my bags. And on top of it all. Golden weddings, cancel, block booking, gone. Wives come down with shingles this summer. Right, here we are. baby and I think, how can you get yourself into such a mess? I'm sick of it. Listen to me, Kylie. You have to stay strong for David's sake. <laughs> What's Nick saying to him in the hospital? I can't handle it. Getting hysterical solves nothing. <laughs> what if I can't keep my mouth shut? It's there, all the time, close to the surface. What if it all comes bubbling out? Letting it out. Think of the consequences. I don't want to. Then don't. But is it really fair on Nick? He's already confused enough as it is without us lying to him about everything. And your solution is to come clean? Are you daft? This is completely the wrong time. He needs calm, stability. He needs Leanne. Yeah, I know. 
But he's already referred to Lily as mine. What else has he got up his sleeve? And you think Leanne will be quite so doting if you air your dirty laundry? Oh, I don't know how forgiving she is. After everything she's done for him. The hours, days she's sat by his bedside going out of her mind with worry. And you want to repay her like this? Nice one, Kylie. I'm really impressed by your kindness. Oh, um, actual G, that was the most amazing lasagna I've ever had in my entire life. How amazing was that? Hashtag well lush. I know, yeah. You know, Anna, you don't have to walk us back to school. I'll make sure Faye gets there in one piece. Yeah, Mum, don't show me up. Oh, all right, see you later. Yes. See you then. Oi! What do you call that? I'll give you a clue. It's not a Boeing 747. Oh, great, and I can't imagine who it belongs to. Us? Until he hands over what he owes us. I can't believe you're stealing stuff. Borrowing! You'll get it back. Uh-oh, here we go. Cavalry's coming. OK, funny man, you've had your little joke. Right, Katie, come to the cafe with me. Why? Go on, Casey, we'll sort later. And you. Really? Yeah, yeah, go on. Oh. So, I think me and you need a little chat. Um, I'm gonna go for a cup of tea. All right. I'll see you in a bit. What? what are you staring at me like that for, Nick? That hurts. What? Shut up. I know. What? Remember. Life. The, the car crash was no one's fault, Nick. It, it was just an accident. You gotta believe me. Right? Maybe you just remember it wrong because of the bump on your head, but I swear it was, it was an accident. Don't lie. Right. Look, Nick, you're confused, alright? The mind is shut up. Bottom line is, Owen, you don't unlock this, give me my bike back, I call the police. Right, OK. But you've not called them yet, though, have you? No, because I knew you'd see reason. Oh, I'm a very reasonable man, that's true, man. So you will see, I owe you three, four grand. Nick and my 20 grand bad boy is actually taking... Yeah, actually, the... can I just stop you there? Because I don't think you understand what's going on here. Think about it. Do you really want me on your back day in, day out, just for sake of four grand? I'm bankrupt. And I'm a bright man. And I can rock up at your gaff every day messing with your head. Do you really want that? I'm telling you, mate, this is only the beginning. I think you're forgetting I know you of old. I'm fully aware of that. And I know all about your shady past. And I also know the number of the local Rosses. It pains me to say it. Those tights like your colour. We both behave disgracefully. Whether because we've been backed into a corner or been drunk. Whatever the reason, we've lied. Whether to protect the ones we love or to save our own skins. This house is a web of lies. And now we don't have the right to call the shots anymore. Now we just have to sit tight and leave it to fate. So we just give up? I'm right on this one, Kylie. I know you don't think it, but I am. I'll put these on at work. I feel sick. Have a glass of water. Hi. Oh, he's asleep. Wanted to take his temperature. Well, I'll get on your way. How are you doing? Fine. But then I'm not the patient. Have you been talking to him? Yeah. 
Has he been responding? A bit, yeah. I mean, he's hardly talking ten to the dozen, though. Well, he's had a major injury. There's still a long way to go. Yeah, I know. Are you too close? Sometimes. <sighs> Me and my sister, we're always falling out. I think it's because we're similar. Are you guys similar? No, not really. And I'm the better looking one, obviously. <laughs> Our Jackie says I'm hot-headed. I say she's a complete nut a cow. <laughs> Do you have any idea how long it'll be before Mikey makes a full recovery? You should really talk to the medical team about that. No, what, what I mean is, um, do you know how bad his brain damage will be? Like the doctor said, it could be years before he's fully OK, but are there any tests he can do? Or... I can make you an appointment with them if you want. Yeah, but there will be brain damage, though. That's what I mean. Like, he'll be, he'll be confused and stuff. Well, yes, that's very common, particularly in the early stages. Right. Thanks. Bye. It's her bike, you see. Oh, is it? Yeah, she loves getting out there, opening her up. Yeah, I could just picture her. Fast lane on the M6, wind in her hair. Can't you do weird this feeling? Why would you deny that one joy she has in life? Oh, she needs some fun right to you. You'll break that woman's heart on. Then talk figures. I'll give you a grand. I'll give you a slap. Hey, I tell you what, I can always tell your Val about the time you were knocking off that stripper from the She Club. <laughs> that was years ago. Oh, right, well, it won't bother her. Four grand. And I keep this zipped, and your Val gets her wheels back. Half an hour. So do you and your sister fight all the time? Let's just say she was very hands-on with a boyfriend of mine once. Oh. What'd you do? It was ages ago. We were kids, really. What did you do, though? Forgave her. Worst decision of my life. I think I should wake him up. Talk to him or something. I'd say let him rest. Yeah, you're probably right. See ya. Probably won't like what I've got to say anyway. I know. You know what? It wasn't. What? An accident. No, it was, Nick. It was. You, you just confused the nurse said you would be. She'd just been in. You tried to kill me. It was, all right? I, I didn't mean for any of this to happen. No. Well, I mean, I did, but... I just wasn't thinking straight. Did what? Caused the crash. I'm sorry, all right? You gotta believe me, I've never been more sorry about anything in my life, all right? Please, Nick, you gotta forgive me, all right? I don't want any of this. And I do. No, I know you don't, cause you don't. It's just, I love Kylie so much and I thought I was gonna lose her, that's all. You must know what that's like. I and mean, you must, I know how much you love Leanne. Leanne. Leanne is none of your- Hello, Nick. How are you? I've got a lovely nutritious shake for you. Strawberry flavor. Would you like to give it to him? Um, no, you're the nurse. Are you sure? You're his brother. You would help him. Um... Don't be nervous. <clears throat> All right, love. Not really. What's wrong? Well, it's this bloke that I'm seeing. I think he's trying to prove that he's the big guy I am. Only I think he's going to get himself in too deep and I don't want him to live to do something he's going to regret. Well, love, I know this bloke you're talking about. Good-looking chap, is he? <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he, he is, he is. And, and you see, the thing about him is he's just trying to do his level best, you know? Is he? Mm. Yeah, get the money he's owed so he can put bread on the table and keep the woman he loves in the manner to which he's accustomed. <laughs> well... 
I'm hardly Liz Taylor marking my life in diamonds, am I? Just let your fella worry about himself, yeah? I can't help it. Eddie used to get himself into all sorts of scrapes. I'm not Eddie. I know. Well, where is he now? Going to get the dosh. Is that what he told you? Yeah, why? Yeah, more like going to get four mates in a baseball bat. Or not. All right? Yeah, you got something I want. In front of her? Uh, I've got a name, you know. Uh, feeling Anna, Anna, feeling. It's all there. I don't want any part in this. Women, eh? I heard that. Well, feeling as usual, it's been a pleasure. Just give me my bike back. <laughs> my. I know. Sorry I've taken so long. How's he doing? Who knows? Oh, he hasn't had much of that. I gave him it. What, did you give it to him properly? Give it to him properly, yeah. The nurse was here. Do you know what? I think I'm going to ask Chef at the bistro if he'll make him some soup. I think he'd like that. What, are you going now? No, I'm just going to go and check it's OK with the nurse. All right, yeah. Uh, watch yourself. She's a bit mad, that one. All right, it won't be long. <laughs> it was so lame, I know. You joking? No, it's just Owen and Gary coming in. What did she say to you? I put the kettle on, but you know, I don't know if we deserve something a bit stronger. Hey, listen, I think I've had enough excitement for one day. Ah, come on, that's something fizzy we're celebrating. Oh, that's cider. You know what? I'll get you something a bit fizzy. I'll slap you around the head so hard you'll need an Alka Seltzer. A bit harsh, love. No, it's just my mum. She's like really losing it. Hey, get to your room. Did you hear that? Are you stupid or what? Me? Yeah, you, cos I know Gary is. All right, Mum, chill out, will you? No, Gary, I won't chill out. What he did to that fella was criminal. You robbed him. It was borderline extortion. Yeah, it got results, love. The great train robbers got results, Owen. It doesn't mean to say that they were right, I think. Anyway, I don't know that much about the great train robber. No, it got the money we were owed. Yeah? I will not live in fear of the phone going or a knock at the door. I will not have bin bags full of cash appearing in my back kitchen every other week. Them days are over, do you get me? I get you. Good. Right, well, seeing as you're so flushed, maybe you can think about piling a few of those pounds that you've got there into redecorating this place. OK? Good. Bob? Yeah? Oh. Hi, lads. What can I get you? That's eh? Oh, my strenuous beauty regime must be paying off. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, two pints, please, tea in there, whatever you want. Oh, I'll have a uh, cheeky little white wine, so thank you. Well, I know what we did was risky. Just a bit, yeah. But it paid off. Yeah, yeah, I suppose it did. Do you know, it's like a shot of adrenaline right through my veins. Mm. That was a bit of a laugh, I suppose. And it sends out a message. Hmm? We are not to be messed with. <laughs> Listen, I uh, had a word with a nurse while you were sleeping. And I'm going to bring you some soup in tomorrow. What do you think? Oh, God, you're chatty today. Can't get a word in edgeways. Frustrated. Yeah, I know you are. And I'm sure that's perfectly normal. And I'm sure there's a million things that you want to be doing, but... Well, you just can't. Not yet. I think you must have tied him out. Yeah, must have done. Right then, I've uh, got an appointment with the medical team. I'll, I'll see you in a bit. So what are you going to do? Nick, talk to me. Nick, what are you going to do? I don't know. You're up early. I know. She's gorgeous. Have you made a pot of tea? No, just for me. So what have you been doing? Looking at photos? Just thinking, really. How lucky I am. Me and my mum are going to see Nick this morning if you want to lift. I can't. I've got appointments. He needs us now more than ever. Well, he doesn't really need me. 
Oh, I'm gonna give her five bob in it. Um, do you want to come with us to the hospital this morning? No, I'm good, Ty. Uh, thought maybe me and you'd go after work. We've got a baby now, Kylie, and Max. I keep swanning off to the hospital every five minutes. Got something we'll have to think about. Who's had all the milk? I'll nip to Deb's. Someone got out of bed the wrong side this morning. Oh, David. Um, have you seen Nick later on? I don't know. Maybe. Can I ask you something? Yeah? You know, when you're with him on your own, what do you talk about? All sorts, really. Whatever he wants. He just seems really angry. I don't know what you were expecting, a song and dance. No, I just want the old Nick back. Shall I tell him you'll be there later or what? Uh, no, don't. Just I, I don't know. We're Max and Lily. That's all. Right, well, I'll send you love them. Yeah. Try. Bye. Remembers everything. About the crash? He hates me. I can see it in his eyes. And he still hasn't said anything yet? No, I think he wants to torture me first. Right, well, you need to talk to him. I want and say what? Oh, yeah, I'm really sorry that he almost killed you. You know, every time he sees me, he just gets more angrier. Shh. Well, I should have known you'd be with her. T was just asking about Nick, that's all. Really? I thought you were going to let me bath the baby. Yeah, I am. Right, I better go. Yes, sir. Next time I see Nick, I'll just send him your love. Hi. Right. See you later. What's that mean? I'll see you later. Nothing. It's what people say. You planning on seeing her later? No. Listen, it's you I love, okay. all right? Like this? Yeah, even more so like that. Listen to me. I've never stopped loving you, Callie, and I never will. OK? Are you OK? Yeah. Fine. Come on. Let's go back this one, all right? What are you writing? Just keeping your notes up to date. And the point of that is? The point is to monitor your progress. What progress? I want to see a doctor. The doctor will be around this afternoon. I want to see a doctor. They're all busy right now. I want to see a doctor now. I tell you what, if you try to calm down, I'll see if that's possible. Don't treat me like a child. Look, Mr Tilsley, just calm down. We're all trying our best here. I'll be back later. Sorry, it's not normally like that. Trust me, we get a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. But is it because of the stress of being here, or, or is it because of his brain injury? I couldn't say. It's quite common for someone in Nick's condition to be angry and frustrated. He just... He just needs to know that he's going to get better. You know, like he was before. He might not think it, but he is making good progress. OK, thanks. Yeah, how are you doing? Right. Sorry I'm a bit late. Oh, I just saw David. He sends his love. Yes, he has. You know, I thought that when I came in. Yeah, and that's a good sign, because sometimes he's very pale. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah, <laughs> you, know, you are, love. Do you want a drink? No. I spoke to the nurse before. She said you're making great progress. What's that mean? Well, it means you're getting better. So what kind of walk? What kind of... Think of the next word. Why can't I think? Well, it might take time, love. You've been in a terrible road accident. Look, you are lucky to be alive, my darling. Am I? Yes, of course you are. Yeah, and you will be able to walk and think again just like before. It just might take time, that's all. And we'll be here as long as it takes. Where's David? Oh, uh, he's with Maria in the salon. Why didn't he come? Well, he said he'd call in later. Yeah, and he's pretty busy with, you know, him and Kylie and the new baby. No, I want to see David. Well, he said he might call in later. I want to see David. I don't want you here. I, I want to see my brother. Nick. What? Well, that's not very nice. We've made an effort to get here. Did I ask you? No. No, no, I didn't. You're just here to make yourself feel better, not me. Now, that's not true. Oh, come on, Nick. There's no need to be so rude to your mum. I don't even know why you're here. Why can't you just leave me alone? It's just women just round me talking rubbish. Just go away! Go home! We want to help. Okay, you want to help me? You want to help me? You tell David I want to see him and I want to see him now! David? Oh, I'm just a bit shot. No, never mind that. Get yourself to the hospital. Hey? Well, I don't see why I should. Why? What's going on? Nick wants to see you. And he's in a foul mood. He's just as good as kicked us out. 
Downright rude, actually, Gail. He's got head injuries, ma'am. He's not himself. Why, why does he want to see me? He, he's fed up of talking to women. He wants to talk football, I don't know, but... Anyway, my mum can manage here, and I'll look after Kylie and Lily. You go see your brother. It's like I can't control myself. They know that. It's fun, myself I've getting more and more... Look, you don't have to explain. It'll get better. What happens if I drive people away? I'm going to end up on my own. No, you won't. Tell them I'm sorry. Oh, well. I had a go with the nurse this morning. Look, they all understand. They know it's not you. What if I get mad at you? Shout at you. Listen. I made a promise when we got married, and no matter what you do or say, you're not going to drive me away. Early on, but I just didn't want to upset you. Nick, I need to know what you're going to do. Do you? Well, I can't lie, not knowing if the police are going to knock on my door any minute. Get used to it. <sighs> Nick, please! How's it feel? How's what feel? Your revenge. Me like this. And happy families for David. Yeah, well, I still don't know if I'm the father of my own daughter, do I? Keep you awake at night, does it? <sighs> Me too. Well, I just want to know where we are, that's all. Can't know, can we? What? Who's the daddy? What do you want? Same thing I've always wanted. The truth. Yeah, well, you know everything. I know who the father is. Get the baby tested. What? DNA test. Last piece of the jigsaw. I can. You can. Nick! Do it. What about Kylie? Oh, well, you're good at sneaking about. Yeah, but why? So we know for sure. Well, then what? Well, for sure, show me the proof, I'll say nothing. If not, we'll see. Just get the test done. You're nuts, you know that? Yeah, it's called brain damage. No, I won't do it. Then I'll go to the police. Tell them about the crash. Good evening. I served him two minutes ago. Um, will you cover me with, like, five minutes? Yeah, of course. Hiya. Hi. You right? Yeah. Did you, um, speak to Nick? Yeah. And I was right. He wants to torture me. Wow, well, what did he say? He said he wants a DNA test done on Lily. Are you serious? No, I'm making it up to entertain you. But why, why would he want that? Why? Yeah. Because he's mad. Tina, and his head's all mashed in. So don't do it. Yeah, well, if I don't, he said he's going to go to the cops. And then I lose everything. And if Lily's his, I lose everything. And if she's mine, and he's, he's still mad, he might go to the cops. I don't know what he'll do, but either way, I lose. Maybe, maybe he'll change his mind. I won't bank on it. So what are you going to do? I've got no choice, have I? Test. You take samples from you and Lily. Yeah, post them off. A couple of days go by, I get a letter back saying I'm, I'm the dad or I'm not. And if I'm not, then we know who is. Right, well, how does Nick know that you're going to do samples properly? Probably thinks I'm too scared not to. Scared of what? Of what else he'll do? I go to the police, they tell everybody, I don't know. Yep. Then Leanne would find out. Yeah, but the mood is in, Tina. It's not going to stop him. Nothing is. Somebody wants serving, Tina, please. Yeah. So for now, I'm just doing what he says. Do I smell a sick? Come here. No, you smell a baby. Yeah, baby sick. Well, just a little bit. Nobody will notice. You know, I saw Tina this morning. Did you? Yeah. Looking like she just stepped out of her beauty salon. It makes you think we should all do like she did. Have your bib, then hand it over and let somebody else do the dirty work. You wouldn't want to hand Lily over. No. And if it makes you feel better, think how she smells after a night behind that bar. Well, I think I know which David would choose. Why are you saying that? No reason. Just I wish you were ugly, that were all. Oh, you're back then. Time that nicely, she's flat out. Hmm. <laughs> looks like you and you're sleeping. Mm. Which isn't very often. Well, listen, Eva texted me earlier, asked if I fancied going for a drink, so she can tell me all about a new job. What job? I don't know, I need to... All right, yeah, yeah, you go. Tell me later. You'll have to see to her. I said I'll go back to the hospital. Well, yeah, I want to. OK. Why, do you not think I would? Yes! Right, I'll text Eva. Switch was easy-peasy. I finished ten minutes before everyone. 
Except Jasper Hutchinson, whose dad's an accountant, so it's all in the genius, it's not fair, really. Like that all day, was it? Like what? I'm showing off. Being told how clever you are. Hey, come on. That's what it sounds like to me. What have I done wrong? You keep telling me like I've done something awful, I don't have a clue what it is. No, you haven't done anything. Every time I try and talk to him, he just tells me I'm stupid or shouts at me. No, no, he doesn't. No, every day is just the same thing. It's how clever you are. Right, well, I won't come here anymore then. No choice is yours. All right, Good. stop it, stop it, both of you. Look, Nick's still not very well. <laughs> it's my fault. No, no, it's not your fault. But we are trying here, we're doing our best. We don't know whether to talk to you or to leave you alone. Either way, we get shouted at. Sorry. Didn't mean it. Right, well, we're sorry too, aren't we, Sai? Sai, what? Suppose. So, uh, what happened after maths? I can't remember. Oh, come on, please. We are reading, then PE, then it was dinner time. Then we did science, which was about power and how to make it. How long are you going to be before you're all right? <laughs> well, it's going to take a little while longer, but Nick's getting better every day, aren't you? So they say. Well, your memory's definitely getting better. That's getting better. A lot better. What are you doing? Nothing. What are you creeping around for? I'm not creeping around. Anyway, I thought you was going out for a walk with Lily. Yeah, but it looks like it might rain. I thought you could take a... Oh, walk, because I don't get wet like you do. No, because you don't have to redo your hair afterwards. OK. On one condition. You go upstairs for a lie down, because you look like you need the rest. What, like somebody else, I could have mentioned that I always looked wide awake and full of fun. What do you mean? Nothing. I just thought you go and have a sleep so then you'd be ready for your girl in night out later. It's not going to be a big deal. I'll be home by nine o'clock. All right, well, whenever. Hi. Hi. How is he? Well, he was a bit on edge earlier. A bit. I thought he was going to throw us out. But his memory seems to be getting better. Maybe that's why he's on edge. I'm only saying maybe. I don't know. Right, anyway, I'll see you later. Yeah. Leanne and Simon have just left. Changing the guard, is he? What's the get when I'm run away? No. And your back's turned. Leanne said your memory's coming back. Does that include everything? <laughs> She's gonna know, haven't you? No. Everything, yeah. Mean Kylie's what you mean, isn't it? All the lying. Having to pretend. Acting like spies. I remember it all. Every single rotten bit of it. And whether to be glad or sorry. I'll be sorry. So how is he? Proud father? David, he's doing everything he can. He loves that child. Happy, is he? Happier than he's ever been, I think. I know. Now he has everything. He thinks he has. A nightmare. Oh, Nick. Been lucky so far, hasn't he? The man desperate for a pint. Tina. We're just going for a walk. Didn't get very far, did you? No, but we will. But I just wanted to let you know that I've done it. Uh, I've been online, I've paid, so... I should have everything I need by tomorrow. I just hope you know what you're doing. Actually, what I'm saying that, you never know what you're doing. Uh, she's not going to be staying long, is she? Only we're not a nursery. Uh, no, we're, we're going now. Um, look. I know I said I'm only doing this because it's what Nick wants. And you were scared of what he might do. Yeah, but so would you be if you could see the way you were going on. Wow! Don't you look fantastic? Once upon a time. What do you mean? Oh, David, I've had two kids. My skin's a mess. Oh, and... give up. A uh, bit best looking one in there tonight, won't you? I won't ask her well she might be thinking of. What? What do you mean? Well, I've got some news for you. Oh, yeah, go on. Steve's managed to arrange finance for the pubs, so we're definitely going ahead with the sale. Steve MacDonald? Oh, by the way, don't tell Michelle, because Steve wants to spring it on her. Honestly, she doesn't know. Well, that's what he says. Well, I hope he knows what he's doing. 
So from Friday, I'll be free to help you out in here, if you're desperate. Yeah, great. Hey, you and me running this place. No, I shall start at the bottom. Uh, no, you won't. No, look, I mean, yeah, have a good cry about the Rovers. But when you're done, get yourself back here and get your own back by pinching all the customers off them. <laughs> How much did you say? 470. Oh, it's all right. I'll get these. Cheers. You look nice. For a change, you mean? No, I didn't. Well, I can do if you want. Can you just let Eva know I'm here, please? Well, she's been so friendly and pleasant. Of course, can. All right? Yeah. How's Nick? I think he's improving. I really do. Why has he said anything weird? Well, he still can't always find the right word, but uh, his memory's come back. Imagine having no memory. Like every day you start afresh. A lot to be said for that. There is. But having a baby's like, they take every minute. Yeah, but you've got a husband and a mother-in-law. To look after as well, yeah? To help you? No, it don't work like that. And besides, I've got a brother-in-law in hospital and great Grand Audrey sticking her nose in every two minutes. Excuse me. When you first started in the sewing room, I think I can say that I tried to make you feel at home, one of the girls. Well, didn't I? If you say so. And this is how you repay me, stealing a job that should have been mine? Well, who said the job was yours? Oh, I think just about everybody. So now that you've shown that you're just out for yourself and you don't care about anybody else, well, now we know, don't we? Did you just say that? Yeah. She's nuts. That's why you want to watch her. I know that support groups aren't really your... Sorry, I can't. Ugh. I bet you think I'm being really boring, don't you? No, I totally get it. You must think you're never going to have a baby if it turns you into somebody like me. Well, I might not live long enough if Sally Webster finds a pair of scissors. <sighs> yeah, well, I'd be careful of that one. Mm. I'd be careful of her and all. Tina? Why? Cos, look at her. Like butter wouldn't melt. Hang on. Michelle? Yes, love. Was my David in here earlier? Uh, yeah, he was, yeah, at dinner time. And then he came back later on, had your little girl with him. Did he? Yeah. Oh, to be fair, though, he didn't have a drink, so... So what were you coming in for, then? Um, something he had to talk to Tina about, I think. Don't know. Cheers. All right. Voice down. Ram could have walked in. It's a bit risky, isn't it, having the kit sent here? It's a lot safer than getting it sent to me house. So what's in it? Uh, two envelopes, a couple of swabs and stuff. It's one for me and Lily. I'm supposed to take cells and then send it back. But you don't have to do this, you know. Just put it in the bin, I would. Tina, he wasn't asking me. He's telling me. Right, well, call his bluff. Lie to him. You know, if I send this stuff off and the results come back and, and she's not mine, it's mind-blowing. No, I'm a dad. I've got no choice, have I? That's got to be the shortest day's work you've ever done. Oh, wait, it's dead up there. There's nothing in the book, so I thought I'd come give you a few hours off. Oh, I am pretty done in. Give her you. There you go. <laughs> and there's nothing I'd like to do more than spend the morning with my gorgeous girl. You might go look around the shops or something. Yeah, yeah take your time. Bye-bye. Do you know what? Everywhere I go, there are gorgeous women. Where are you going dressed like that? Work. First day in the office and I'm pigging late. All right. Well, David's got Lily for a couple of hours. I thought you might fancy coming around the shops. Oh, sorry, darling. I can't stop thinking about David and Tina. Mate, you're being paranoid. He's mad about you. But they're always hanging about together. He's even lied about them being together. She's on speed dial on his phone. Right, does he sex text her? No. Have you got any evidence that anything's going on? No. 
green-eyed monster, mate. We've all been there. But he's acting weird. Something ain't right. You've got a baby and you've got a fella. Count yourself lucky. I'm not lucky if he's cheating on me, am I? And he is. I know he is. Go on, man. Go on. I know, I know. I know. Shh, 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 shh. Shh. Look, look who's here. It's Mr. Swabby Wobby. Come on. Open up. Oh. I know, I'm sorry. So, uh... So, what do you reckon? You want to move back into number 13? Well, I'd rather have the penthouse in Victoria Court, but... We'll be all right, love. Oh, yeah, Kyla is me. Yeah, yeah, fine. Um, listen, I don't want to fan the flames, but I've just seen Tina going into your house. Come on. Oh, this is a nightmare. What? Well, every time I go near her, she just keeps wriggling. I think, I think she's coming down with something. Come on. Oh, I can't do right, it. Right, give it to me. I'll do it. No, I'll, I'll do it. Can you hold her? Do you not get a lunch break now you're in the office? Well, yeah, but Peter and Kyle both eat the butters at the desk and I reckon Michelle always worked through, so... Well, everyone's entitled to a lunch break. Oh, but I want to look dead keen, don't I? I'm a big chance. And it's not like sewing. I actually love this. Oh, I'd love a new career move if I ever get shot at this place. Any news on that front? Well, there's one or two interested parties. Who? Well, it's a done deal. Right, I'm off. See ya. Good girl. Now what? Well, send these off in the post and wait. How long? A couple of days. It's mad, isn't it? Send a little bit of baby saliva off to be tested on, we get the results back and it could completely tip his world upside down. Mm. You sure you won't post it? Got no choice. Oh, busted! What's going on? What is she doing here? She just come round. <laughs> You're such a lousy liar. No, no, look, I've come round to ask my favour. Me and Tommy have moved into Owen's. Don't treat me like I'm some sort of idiot, right? What? We're not. I am I not allowed to help a friend out? No. I'm sick of you two hanging round each uh, other. Excuse me, I've got a boyfriend. Yeah, but you and him have got previous, haven't you? Oh, uh, Kelly, what are you talking about? She's a mate. Yeah, well, I'm watching the Perry. So go on, do well, one. I was already going. Good. Tina, I I'm sorry. Where's all this coming from? You are bonkers. Am I? Why are you dressed like that? Well, I am. Should I be dressed? Well, I thought you were helping Tommy and Tina decorate. I am. What, in your best jeans? Yeah, that's not till later. That's this afternoon. That's made up, if you ask me. Oh, well, come with us then. Yeah, well, maybe I will. Right. Only don't bring Lily, because of the fumes. Anyhow, it might be a bit boring for you. Be like watching paint dry. Ba -da -bum -bum. <laughs> what do you want me to say? That you don't love her and that I'm perfect in every way. Right, well, be nice to me then. They're moving back into a flat the size of a postage stamp, but they can't decorate without your help. David, the expert decorator, it just don't add up. It's just an extra pair of hands. You have to do what while Tommy ain't looking? Pain. Have I got a coconut instead of a head? No. Is there a bowling ball where my head should be? I have got eyes, David, and ears. Does Tommy know about all these secret little chats you've been having? 
They're not secret chats, she's my mate. She clicks her fingers. Max, are you nearly ready? Yeah, that's right. Change the subject, run away. What is your problem? Two kids, no sleep, one paintbrush and a slag. Oh, hello, expecting something. No. It's been like that all morning. Do you know, David, you're like a hopping bean. No, you're like popcorn in a pan. <laughs> no, I'm not. You sure? No, Gran, I'm not like popcorn in a pan. Oh, all right, don't be silly, I'm just having a bit of fun. Anyway, what are you expecting? Well, it's private, so if you happen to get it first... David, thank you. I do not open other people's mail. Fun. Terrific progress, despite what he thinks. Be amazed what you've achieved, Nick. Hey, you might even make it to the christening. Uh, rolled out the red carpet. He'll still have to come and see us a couple of times a week, and we'll send occupational therapy out to the house before he's discharged. Oh, well, we live in a flat, but there is a lift, but we, we hardly use it. Oh, well, if he can manage the stairs, that's good practice. Then we can talk to physio about ditching the stick. Um, what about work? Oh, well, that's still a good few weeks off, I'd have thought. And the doctor will give you a better estimation, but another six weeks at least. Still, compare that to where we were. And uh, what about the frustration and the temper? <sighs> Get used to it. <laughs> but now, I'll uh, leave you be. All right, thanks. Sorry. What for? I said about the red carpet, you know, at Christmas. Oh, that's OK. Right, then. What have we got in here? We have got... Pants, socks, towel. Oh, I meant to tell you, um, you know that woman who works down at Bessie Street who cooks all the dinners? She's retiring this afternoon after 32 years in the job. I reckon she's made over a million dinners. <laughs> O'Keefe? Yeah. Yeah, that's right, Mrs O'Keefe. <laughs> she's still going. Oh, I've kind of forgot your pyjamas. I knew I'd do that. It's all right. <sighs> I've left them in the dryer. Relax. I don't think it's boring. It's neutral. Oh, neutral. Who wants a neutral, right? <laughs> we should have gone for something a bit more adventurous. We're just swapping like for like. I'm not living in a bright yellow flat. Oh, it wasn't yellow. It had a name for it. <laughs> yeah, so did I. <laughs> Kylie, what do you reckon? White or yellow? I won't care. Well, we went for Magnolia in the end. It got its own way. Um, how did I get my own way if we compromised? Aw, oh, hello, Lily. Look at her, how cute. Aw. Have you, uh, sorted her outfit out for the christening? David's got a full-time job, and a son, and a baby. Why'd you need his help? Well, we didn't, really. Yeah, I'm working later. You have his help. He's working, too. He had no intention of taking his afternoon off, as far as I... What do you mean, he offered? I thought you asked him. Well, he found out what we were doing in the flat, and uh, one thing led to another. <laughs> yeah, I bet it did. Oh, as if. What do you make of it all, Tommy? I don't know. I mean, they're allowed to be friends, I suppose. But David's weird, and... Uh, I don't really trust him, so why would she go there? Hey, shh! That's his wife. Anyway, I've been there, but the T-shirt didn't quite fit. Look, can we, uh, crack on? These are in my hands. See ya. See ya. Yep. Yeah. Right, best get going, otherwise I'll miss my boss. I'll come back later with a fresh pair of PJs. Don't bother. I'll manage. No, it's all right. Probably be after tea. See you later. <laughs> Well, think about this. Do you do or not? Yeah, I did it. The results should arrive today. Hopefully, Grand won't open them while I'm here. So why are you? Because I needed to know. If she's yours, you're going to tell Leanne. What, but you won't if she isn't? I can live with that. Oh, well, you're picky, aren't you, about what you can and can't live with? Yeah, being realistic. Oh, and do you think that makes you an honest person, does it? Nick, why should the results make any difference, all right? You did what you did. But if you really want to be honest, if you really can't live with it, then you should tell Leanne the truth. Tell her you slept with my wife. Yeah, I've tried that before, didn't I? And you grabbed hold of the steering wheel. Could have come out sooner or later. Well, how, how would it? I mean, you keep saying that, but how would it come out? I don't know. If it's mine, I come clean. If it's not, I don't. Go home, get the results, come back here. All right. What if it's bad news, yeah? And I come here and you're asleep. You, you think I'm just going to wait for you to wake up? Wait for you to ruin my life? Tell you. What with all these nice, big, fluffy pillars knocking about? Yeah, you want to think about that? I've thought about it. I want to know the truth. You're supposed to get some sleep while they're asleep. Listen, 
If and when you ever get round to it, take all the books they've ever written, the leaflets, the websites, everything anybody's ever told you, and chuck the lot of it in the bin. You do look knackered, mate. I look like Marilyn Manson with a hangover. Do you know what? I bet you're missing some vitamins, you know. Vitamin B, C, F. Tommy can't stand David, but he was still covering for him. How was he? He didn't want David's help, so why play along? If Tina and David were at it, why would Tommy play along? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Unless they're duping him, too. David is helping him paint the flat. Why can't it be as simple as that? Because nothing ever is. I think you're tired. Been watching too many mysteries. Daytime television's playing havoc with your head. No. Tina's playing havoc with me, head. I wish you weren't so fit. I know. I can't believe David used to go out with her. Uh, excuse me. Sorry, I say that out loud. I'm telling you, once you've had kids, that's it. You're out with a race, you can't compete. Blocks don't even look in your direction. Really? <sighs> Reassure me. There you are, there's your change, Mrs Turnbull. Keep it, Petal. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, mind how you go as well. Thanks, love. All right. Oh, come on, coats. Uh, letter for David Platt. Uh, yeah, that's me. No, I'll sign for it. No, I'll, I'll sign for it, Graham. Oh, David, doesn't matter who signs for it. Actually, it does, this one. There you are, see? Thanks. Well, do you know, I, I don't understand why it matters who signs for it. What, what, he just said it does, all right? There, you see, he's just done a squiggle. Could be anybody. Yeah, squiggle's fine with us. We're not fussy. Hey, see? Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you, my love. Bye-bye, cheerio. Bye, Mrs Turnbull. Bye. Lovely. See you next week. Yes, of course. David, say goodbye to Mrs Turnbull. Bye. Yeah, bye, bye. Bye, sweetheart. Oh, phew -ey. There we go. Well, the wait is over. So... Gonna open it or not? Uh. Oh. Hello, orders. Hey, is there any of that cake left? No. Uh, I'll have it, David. Oh, now he decides to turn up. Is there even any point? Coming up. Tina, it's half four, you know. Bangle Tommy, get a sandwich. There's no bread. Bangle, go, Royce. Hiya. Hi. He's not even dressed to paint. But I'll help, I swear, I just got held up at work. Yeah, I told him. Unbelievable, this, right? Let me get a sandwich from Roy's in here, we want anything. No thanks, I'll go work in a minute. Right, in a bit. Bye. So? I tried talking him out of it, but... Do you want me to open it? No, I'll do it. Good luck. I'm pleased to enclose the notes of your recently commissioned DNA test. Based on the DNA analysis, the alleged father, Mr. David Platt, cannot be excluded as the father of the child, Lily Platt. What, what, what does that mean? Is it good, bad, what? This constitutes a positive result. The man we have tested is <laughs> biological father of a tested child. We hope we're able to provide the answer you're seeking should you ever need further query. So, that's it, that's it. He's positive, she's yours. She's mine. <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> I can't believe it. Right, that's it. It's, it's over, David. You know, give that paper to Nick and everything will go back to normal. <laughs> when does the world ever work like that? <laughs> Almost never. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were skint. It's like Groundhog Day. She's mine. Really? Show me. Yeah. Congratulations. It's over. Over. It says, the alleged father, Mr. David Platt, cannot be excluded as the father of the child, Lily Platt. This constitutes a positive result. A 99.9301675977657% probability that it's mine, which is DNA speak for, it's mine. Yeah, I understand that. Right. So there's no more nagging doubts, Nick, at the back of your mind, all right? No more what-ifs. Every time you see that child, you will know that she's mine. And you and Kylie was nothing more than a sordid little blip. Yeah. So what, then? Because there's obviously something wrong. We, you could look a little less uh, giddy about it. 
What, are you secretly disappointed or something? No. Eh, it's over, Nick. I mean, this whole business between us, all right? We're even, never to be talked about again. I'm happy with relief and joy. You know, they don't know what my future is. Yesterday, I couldn't remember Bethany's name. I'm ill, David. I'm ill. You know, I'm really glad that Lily's yours, but if you could stop dancing on the ceiling, I'd be really, really grateful. Nick, we wouldn't even be in this situation now if you hadn't done what you did, all right? The, the last two days, the last few months, I've been in agony. I've had no sleep. I've been lying and making up excuses, and, and then you go and put me through this. Keep your voice down. You know, I could have opened this letter, Nick, today to find out the one person I love the most in this world is, is not even mine, that it's yours. I mean, do you blame me for smiling? You tried to kill me. No, no. I tried to stop the van so that you wouldn't tell everybody the truth. You wanted my belt. You terrorised me for weeks with my family, my business. No, Nick, you weren't innocent. Why didn't you just confront us? You know why? For the sake of my marriage, for the sake of your marriage, and for the sake of Lily. <laughs> You're sick. You're sick. There's just something in your brain that's just... Something in my brain? What? There's something in your brain that insisted on this twisted revenge. I should have known it was you. I should have known... No, you will get better, Nick, all right? You will. I will always know that you had my wife and that, what you two did, that was sick. You should be locked up. You know, I should be dead and you should be locked up. You got it all, haven't you? But what about me? What about my business? Right, my family, my head? It's always about you. Everything's always about you, Nick. This whole family revolves around you. I mean, what, what makes you think you can sleep with my wife and get away with it? You think I've got away with it? Yeah! Yeah! Look at me! Look at me! We were drunk. How do you think these things happen? And she was up for it. Don't like her. Listen to me. I hope you never get well. All right? I hope you never get well. I hope you can't tie your own shoelaces or even count to ten or eat a bowl of cornflakes without any help. And every time that happens, I want you to remember Christmas night and me. And remember that you lost Nick because Lily's mine. You've got brain damage. And I, for once, Nick, I came out on top. Six o'clock on a weekday evening, and we've been out bossing her. There are some perks to being ill. And you did enjoy it, didn't you? Very, very much. Yeah. Makes you wonder whether we should have done it more often, and that kind of thing, before something like this happened. Do you remember years ago, we promised ourselves we'd go away more? We said we'd do at least three or four city breaks a year. Life gets in the way, I suppose. We'd all get along and... Yet we spend it standing behind griddles or sitting at machines and meanwhile there's boating lakes and great European cities standing idle. We've seen America, Romania, you've been to Mozambique, I came to visit. Oh yeah, yeah, we've been lucky but most people, most people don't get to see much. It's not fair. There's this big world full of things to do and everybody's sat inside and in laundrettes and porky little flats in factories and cafes. How we let it happen is a mystery. I'm famished to you. I'll put the kettle on. Warm up some lasagna. Ooh, perfect. Oh, shh. Sorry, I'm not staying. Yeah? I've just brought you some more pyjamas. I thought I told you not to. Hey, people in hospital beds don't make threats. <laughs> What's this? I'm a... Uh... It's David. And what's he doing here? Ah, uh, I don't know, he must have left it earlier. What is it? Uh, it's just a hotel reservation. He's taking Kylie away. Oh, lucky her. Yeah, he's booked a nice room as a treat, you know, it's just a confirmation. Hey, that might be us soon. Well? Going away. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cranky today. Yeah, takes after her mum. <laughs> Let's hope she behaves at the front, eh? She'll behave. <laughs> You're as good as gold, aren't you, Lily, eh? Come on, babe. And David was a crier when he was her age. Sarah Lou, not so bad. Nick, 
He was an angel. Uh, I'm a cream jeggings in that lot. Where is David, anyway? I don't know. Shouldn't he be home by now? Oh, wait, um... What? Any plans for tonight? Yeah, I'm gonna take Simon to the pictures. I mean, I know it's late, but... Well, he's been so good, so I can drop this round at David's before we go. No, oh, leave it here. I'm sure he'll pop by tomorrow. Hey, relax. And don't worry, I'll make sure Kylie doesn't see it. <laughs> if you left it here, she definitely wouldn't. Nick, I am capable of delivering a letter, you know. Yeah, well, don't go snooping. You know what it's like. You'd be able to tell. Excuse me, I've no intention of going snooping. I've got a chapter in my book to read. I'm hoping there's traffic. When I felt the bus lane. Listen, I'm going to be late for this film. Let me go and relax. See you tomorrow. Oh, shh. Sorry, I'm not staying. Yeah? I've just brought you some more pyjamas. I thought I told you not to. Hey, people in hospital beds don't make threats. <laughs> What's this? I'm a... It's David. And what's he doing here? Uh, I don't know, he must have left it earlier. What is it? Uh, it's just a hotel reservation. He's taking Kylie away. Oh, lucky her. Uh... Yeah, he's booked a nice room as a treat, you know, it's just a confirmation. Hey, that might be us soon. Well? Going away. Ah, uh, yeah. Cranky today. Yeah, takes after her mum. <laughs> Let's hope she behaves at the front, eh? She'll behave. <laughs> You're as good as gold, aren't you, Lily, eh? Come on, babe. And David was a crier when he was her age. Sarah Lou, not so bad. Nick, he was an angel. I'm a cream jeggings in that lot. Where is David, anyway? I don't know. Shouldn't he be home by now? Oh, wait, um... What? Any plans for tonight? Yeah, I'm gonna take Simon to the pictures. I mean, I know it's late, but... Well, he's been so good, so I can drop this round at David's before we go. No, oh, leave it here. I'm sure he'll pop by tomorrow. Hey, relax. And don't worry, I'll make sure Kylie doesn't see it. <laughs> if you left it here, she definitely wouldn't. Nick, I am capable of delivering a letter, you know. Yeah, well, don't go snooping. You know what it's like. You'd be able to tell. Excuse me, I've no intention of going snooping. I've got a chapter in my book to read. I'm hoping there's traffic. When I felt the bus lane. Listen, I'm going to be late for this film. Let me go and relax. See you tomorrow. Where is it? I've been trying to ring you. Yeah, I've been trying to ring you. She took it. Who, who took it? Leanne. What? She came to bring me some pyjamas. She said she was going to give it to you. When? She only left about ten minutes ago. Well, did she read it? Uh, no. I don't think so. She said she was getting on the bus. She had a good book to read, so hopefully she won't. Hopefully? Yeah, well, I, I said it was a hotel reservation. Why did you say that? She asked me what it was. I, I said you booked a room for you and Carly. It was the first thing that came into my head. Oh, I bet it was. Oh, Davey. So now I've got to book a hotel away somewhere. Uh, no, why? Well, if by some miracle she doesn't read the letter. I see what you mean. Oh, how could you let this happen? Oh, how could you? You should have taken it with you. Yeah, I thought I had done. I was too busy fighting with you, wasn't I? You should have torn it up. You should have told me the results oh, and just torn it up. I haven't got time for this, all right? Ask for what you no, said. No, I need it finally on. Um, is David about? No. No idea where he is. Oh. How's Nick? Well, I don't want to tempt fate, but they said he might be home next week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. That's wonderful news. Shall we have a cup of tea to celebrate? Oh, no, no, I can't. I've uh, promised Simon I'd take him to the cinema. Oh, uh, by the way, did uh, Max give Mrs O'Keefe a card? It's Miss O'Keefe, I have you know. Is it? Oh, I put Mrs on the card. <laughs> no one at home to practice on. Ah, oh, still, a million dinners, that's some cooking, isn't it? She was there when Nick started in the infants. Yeah, he looked a bit nostalgic when I told him. 
She's put in a shift, all right. <laughs> 32 years. Ruled with an iron spoon, by all accounts. Yeah, one of life's unsungs, eh? Well, she'll be singing now. Listen, can you do me a favour? Yeah, of course. Can you give uh, that to David uh, on the quiet? Yeah. What is it? It's a uh, hotel reservation for Kylie. He left at the hospital by mistake. He didn't say anything to me about it. Still, nobody tells me a dicky girl. <laughs> right, thanks. I better go. Yeah, enjoy the film. Yeah, cheers. See ya. Who was that? Uh. It was Leanne. Uh, Nick might be coming home next week. Next week? Yeah, all being well. Oh. Shall we have a G and T to celebrate? Yeah. Is David still not back? I thought it. bedroom and ensuite. Cheers. And um, yeah, thanks for your help. You all right, hon? You after Leanne? I think she's gone to the cinema with Simon. I'll tell you where if you want. Uh, no. Um, yeah, uh, I think so. <laughs> not going on with you and Leanne, is there? No, of course not. Or you and Tina, actually, for that matter. No, why? Well, I believe you, but I'm not sure your missus does. Did you know Miss O'Keefe retired today? Who? The cook at Bessie Street. So? Nice attitude. Uh, listen. That's nearly done. Just keep your eye on it. I just need to nip out for a minute. You're not going anywhere. What? Step through that door and I swear to God there'll be consequences. Why? I'm not having it, David. You and Tina, it ends oh, here now. I'm crying out loud. So where were you going? I was going to see Leanne. All right, if you must know. I need to ask her something about Nick. He's coming home next week. You what? Maybe. Who says that? Your mum. Where is she? She had three G&Ts and took herself off to bed. You've been with Tina all day. Yeah, I've been helping them decorate. Not in those jeans, you aren't. Oh, Kylie! Right. If there's not going on and you're telling the truth, you can prove it to me now by staying in, putting on a DVD, and you treat me like I'm the centre of your universe. You got it? Got it. But if you're lying to me, you're dead. Yes. You understand? Yes. Dead? Yes. What do you want to watch? What is the? Uh, it's King's Speech. Go on then. Just on second thoughts, let's just see what's on the telly. I don't think I've got a whole film in me. It's my girl. There you go. Oh, thanks, Mum. Don't mention it, darling. Morning. Bit glam to be scrubbing bogs, aren't you? Uh, well, it's my day off, so I thought I'd go into town, maybe have a spot of lunch, and then finish off with a bit of retail therapy. Well, steady on, Gail. You'll be having fun next. Someone round here needs to. See you later. See ya. What's up with you, face ache? No, just tired, that's all. Is this mine? What are you doing today? I'm at the salon, are And what about after? Nothing. So you'll be straight home after work, then? Yeah. Oh, Carly, for the last time, there's nothing going on with me and Tina, right? So will you just get off my back, please? I'll see you, Max. See ya. Oh, Leanne! Oh, sorry, David, I can't stop him on my way to see Nick. Uh, that's what I want to talk to you about. He said last night that you had picked up an envelope about the hotel booking. Oh, yeah, I gave it to your mum. What? Why? Well, because you weren't there on a call round. She didn't give me it? Well, maybe, maybe she forgot. Look, he's all right. She knows it's all top secret. Kylie doesn't know anything about it. Yeah. David, I've really got to go. Sorry. Come on. Come on. What's the point of having a mobile if you can't be bothered to switch it on? Are you trying to call? My mum. Oh, well, you're not usually that keen to speak to her. Is anything wrong? Leanne gave us something that's mine and why I need it. Well, what was it? It's confirmation of a hotel booking that I've made for me and Kylie. Only it's supposed to be a surprise, all right? So don't be telling anyone. Are you smiling at Well, I'm just wondering when you got to be so romantic. Well, I've always been romantic. I just hit it dead well. Oh. Anyway, don't worry. I'm sure it'll turn up. Hi. Sorry, 
him late. Traffic was a nightmare. You look like you're doing better. Should have seen me before. Nearly made it across the room in under ten minutes. I oh, forget that letter for David. Oh, yeah, I saw him this morning. Sorted. Hi. Hi. He's been working really hard this morning. Oh, I think he's keen to get out of here. Then have some good news. You can go home today, once the consultant and the rest of the team have seen you. When will that be? You're top of the list. I'm not sure I'm ready. <laughs> you are? You'll be fine. Why don't you have another five minutes along the corridor? I'll let you know as soon as I hear anything. Just a bit nervous about going home, seeing people he knows. Happens a lot. Try not to worry. Yeah. See ya. Carla? Mom? Yeah. <gasps> what are you doing here? Well, I came back to see if there's anything for dinner, but there's nothing I fancied, really, so I'm just going to nip to chip it. All right. All right, I'll see you after work. Bye. Bye. Did you see that? You were acting well shifty. He always acts like that. No. You were up to something. If you're talking about David and Tina, you're totally barking up the wrong tree. <sighs> David loves you. I've been up the stick for months. I've just dropped a sprog without going into the gory details. It's hardly been a love fest round here lately. Yes, good. That's normal. Yeah. Isn't it? Like it's normal for blokes to go sniffing round elsewhere if they're not getting any at home. Besides, him and Tina have got history. But you've asked him and he's denied it. What else are you going to do? Prove his line through his teeth. And you're going to help me. Oh, right. Any dry? Bring his clothes, turned our bedroom upside down, nothing. Maybe that's because there's nothing to find. Look, you're just going to wind yourself up even more if you stay here, aren't you? Why don't we go back to mine and watch a DVD? They have a bottle of wine or something. Yeah, have you got out good? I don't know, have a look. Oh, here you are, double bill. What about this comedy and then this one with Colin Firth? He's well fit for an old bloke. Fine, whatever. I thought you said you'd look down here. I did. So? So what's this then? Well, here we are. Oh, hi, Nick. How are you? Uh, yeah, getting there, you know. Oh, it's good to see you back on your feet again. It's not the standing that's a problem, it's the uh, moving around bit. <laughs> you take it easy, you've been through a lot, and if there's anything you need... Yeah, thanks, Fizz. Let's get inside before we see you in the Yeah. Nick! Oh, too late. <laughs> I love you back! Oh! Oh, it's my ribs. I'm sorry, but I'm just so pleased to see you home. How are you feeling? Nick? You all right? I'll let you out, then. I'll give you a with that. I can manage. It's all right, I can... I say it. I can manage. Uh, maybe let him get settled. Maybe pop back in an hour or two, yeah? Yeah, yeah OK. He's probably just tired, needs some time on his own. Uh, never mind him, why'd you disappear to? I've been trying to get hold of you all day. Oh, sorry, I forgot to charge my mobile up again. Why? What's the matter? Well, I need that envelope that Leanne gave you last night. For the hotel? Yeah, where is it? Home. Wear it on. Don't worry, Carly won't find it. I put it in a DVD box for safekeeping. Unbelievable. David! It's not here. Well, I can't think where else it could have got to. Well, try. I mean, did you, you show you put it in a DVD kit? Absolutely positive. Right, well, which one? I can't remember. I don't know what you're getting 
being so upset about? I mean, the hotel will still have the room booked for you. Yeah, but I don't want Carly finding out. Well, not yet. Well, if she does, she'll be absolutely delighted. Look, you get back to work. I'll have another think about where it can be, and if I find anything, I'll let you know. And David, mm. try not to worry. The devious little... I knew he were lying to me. Look, all you know is that he's booked a room in a hotel. He might have done it as a surprise, like the time you took him away. You don't prove anything. Oh, says you. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you're hardly an expert, are you? Every bloke you've been out with cheated on you. Oh, right. Cheers for the kind and supportive words. Look, all I'm saying is I've had a feeling he's been lying to me about summer and now I know what. I think you're making something out of nothing. Why don't you just go and speak to him and sort it out? I don't worry, I will. Right after I've had a word with her. Oh, listen, it'll only be for a few nights. Just tell me it gets settled in again. But maybe I can help him, you know, fetch stuff or help him with his exercises or something. Yeah, well, there'll be plenty of time for that. And anyway, we could see your dad again, won't it? It's not even much the problem. Yeah, I know you don't like Carla, but try and be nice, eh? Having said that, anyway, you can wind her up. Go for it. <laughs> Can you just tell me what you're going to do, please? I'm just going to ask what she's been doing with my husband. Tell Lily what you've asked, not No, I won't. And when you say you're going to ask her... Leanne! Are you going to talk to her? Are you going to scream at her? Are you going to shove her head through a table? Oh, cheers, I've not thought of that one. Huh. Kylie, you're going to end up spending a night in the cell if you're not careful. It's all right, I've done it before. Can you do us a favour? Yeah. Look after Lily for a bit. Oh, well, how long for? Hour, maybe two. Food's in a bag, it just needs eating up. Let's take her to Gala's. <laughs> She's so wet, it's babies. <laughs> I want a word with you. Excuse me, I think you'll find I was here first. Oh, shut it, Noddy. <laughs> I knew you reminded me of someone. Funny, is it? Right, let's see you laugh that off. Tina, what's going on? I ain't got a clue. Don't give me that, you lying tart. Right, that's it. No, Tina, no, just leave I'm it. I'm having a talking to me like that. Turn on Kylie. You're on. Well, I've that. Oh, I don't believe you, Lock. You should have bet on Tina. Right, mouth on mighty. What's your problem? I want to know what's been going on between you and my husband. Nothing. So why is he booking hotel rooms for you and him then? I'm telling you, I don't know anything about it. Oh, you expect me to believe that? You better go and get David from the salon. I'm gonna miss the shot. Marcus. Spoil sport. Uh, Kylie, let's go home, eh? Yeah, yeah, you heard a good idea. I'll tell you, but ah! Kylie, get off her! Surprise! Let go! Going on? Hey! Pack it in! I said! Pack it in! Eva, I'm sorry. Yeah, right! Are you alright, love? Is my face okay? Yes, it's fine. Can we go and check, please? Oh, well done, Kylie. One down, two to go. You? Wipe that grin off your face, or you'll be through that window, teeth first. And you, get your scrawny backside out. You're bad. You can't bar me in, even your pub. Oh, well, yes, it is. Uh, what is she doing here? I've no idea. And why is she saying it's her pub? Jet lag. I, 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 I wouldn't worry about it. You heard her? Do one. I'm not going anywhere until I find out what's been going oh, on. I'll give it a rest. Nothing is going on. You're a liar. I knew off your head. I'm not joking you. I want the truth. And I want it now. So go on then. Tell me. You've nothing to say, have you? Because you're sneaking off to this hotel with him for a night away. Is that what you really think? Right, that is it. I've had enough. I am not having two trollops shouting and brawling in my pub. Oh, but... Out! Get your hands off me! I'm in the gutter where you belong. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but you invited me. And as I am now joint owner... Whoa, hang on a minute. You just say you're joint owner? Didn't you know? Oh, so not exactly your pub after all, Michelle. I have known for ages the summer going Oh, on. you couldn't be more wrong, Kyla. Who chose the hotel you are in? Kyla, that hotel had nothing to do with me. Do you know what? I feel sorry for you. Because you don't know half of it. Half of what? She's right. It's got nothing to do with her. It's meant to be for me and you. Well, you would say that, wouldn't you? Well, yeah, because it's true. It was meant to be a surprise. Yeah, they're telling the truth, Carla. And what do you know about it? You told me this morning. It arranged it. Ask her if you don't believe me. Yeah, or Leanne and Nick, they know all about it. It's for me and you. Now do you believe me? You know, 
I'd give a fuck's right if I was you. Oh, another storm in the teacup. Mm. I asked you if you were hiding anything and you said no. Well, she wants you till next week. She thought you might need a hand, so she came early. I couldn't afford to buy the place outright. Oh, I don't believe this, so you asked your mother. Well, it's better than having no pub at all. Hey, I didn't even want the flipping place. What? Oh, yeah, he bought it behind me back. So it would be a surprise. And then he wonders why I wasn't over the moon. He didn't even tell Michelle. And then he talks me round like an idiot, I agree. And just when I'm getting used to the idea, I find I'm going to be sharing it. Hey, I'm not some kind of monster, you know. No, I know that. It's just that when I left Underworld, it was because I didn't want to play second fiddle to Peter. Well, you're not going to be doing that with me, Mother. Depends how things pan out. See? You see? It's going to be her ruling the roost, not me. Well, it is my money. Well, half of it is. But, look, let's all just calm down. And is she going to be living here and all? Where else am I going to live? Do you know what, Steve? You have pulled some flankers in your time, but this one beats the lot. Oh, are you OK, love? Yeah, where's Kylie? Oh, heading for the bistro last time I saw her. You want to slap her back? <sighs> so is she going to be running this place or what? Oh, well, she wants to cover herself up, whatever she's doing. I don't suppose Kylie's outburst comes any great surprise to you, did it? Why'd you say that? Well, I mean, you, you work with David. I mean, you must have got wind that... Uh... No. <laughs> I think you're the one with wind, Norris. So how was Spain? Oh, I had a ball. Sunshine all year round. Cheap booze, great food. Oh, and the odd dark-eyed ombre. <laughs> uh, well, I'd be lying if I said no. So why would you come back to this, then? Well, you can't stay on holiday all your life, can you? It's not real. <laughs> I thought you were working there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was in one of these boutique spas. Made a load of money and then bought into it. But I always knew I'd come back here. And then when Steve rang, it just felt right. So I sold up. And here I am. Right. And does it still feel right? All new ventures have teething problems. Nothing I can't handle. Tina. Thanks for that. Don't ask me to do anything for you again. No, I won't, but you saved my life. Keep yourself and your loony wife away from me in future, OK? I've had enough of your problems last me a lifetime. There we are. So, have you been keeping well, Owen? Yeah, you? Yeah. Yeah, very well. You remember Anna? Yeah. Nice to see you again. Yeah, and you. So, are you two an item now? Yeah, for two years and going strong. What happened to Eddie, then? Did you put him in hospital as well? <laughs> no, don't worry. All water under the bridge for me. As long as you don't give me any trouble, you are both welcome here any time. Oh, what am I going to say to him? I'll get some drinks. You made an absolute fool of yourself out there. Yes, thank you. I'm quite aware of what happened. When are you ever going to learn to trust me? Well, can you blame me for thinking what I did? Here's me looking like a sight after having Lily and... Are you kidding? <sighs> and I keep seeing you with her all the time. Yeah, she's been sorting out the hotel thing for me. I didn't know that, did I? Kylie, how many times do I have to tell you it's you I love? And I love you. Right, so what are we arguing about? Where's Lily? My hand's got her. Oh, well, I'll go get her. No, I'll do it. Have you got the hotel reservation? No, it's here. Mm. You better want to do this now, or else you're dead. <laughs> Have you got DVDs off the agenda now? Well, that's what I came to say. You better get home and show Willie. Right, I'll give you these back then. Cheers. Oh, whoop, sorry. Is that? to David. What's it doing in there? Care of the salon? Not another hotel reservation, is it? Well, it's been opened. Have a look. What is it? It's not
nothing bad, is it? No. Not really. Kylie, tell me. A DNA test? Would. Does that mean David had one done on Lily? Why? Well, he must have thought you'd been with somebody else. Well, obviously. You haven't, have you? No. So why do you think you have? <sighs> well, he's never really trusted me. You can hardly blame him with my track record, can you? And there was this bloke just helping me out before Christmas. What do you mean, helping you out? We were just mates. No, it happened. We were just texting a lot and David got the wrong idea. Yeah, but still. A DNA test. I mean, that is massive. He was obviously really worried. Yeah, can we just stop going on about it, please? The results say he's the father, so end of. Are you going to tell him you know? No. And you better not say out either. I'd have it out with him. Why? Well, he's having a go at you at the bistro for not trusting him. He's twice as bad. I wouldn't let him get away with that. Right. <sighs> You're supposed to be resting. Cheers. Is that Leanne? I'm trying to get Simon settled. Won't be back for a bit. Good job you got me to look after you then. You know you can go. I'm off the life support machine now. Will you be all right for the christening tomorrow? David's going to be disappointed. Yeah, right now that's the least of my worries. Okay. Hello. I need to see you. Uh, it's a bit difficult. My mum's here. Well, can't you get rid of her? What's this about? I can't talk on the phone. I've got to see you. Something's happened. Okay, yeah. Give me a few minutes. So come on. What's this? Open it. See what I mean about urgent? Don't even go there. Question is, why has he done it? Maybe he suspects him Yeah, but what? Have you said anything? Me? But us, you're joking. I was the one who persuaded you not to tell him, remember? Have you said anything? No! Won't be mum, not after what happened. Then why has he done it? Uh, past cage dancing, maybe it was because of that. I haven't done anything like that since I married him. Except with you. Maybe he thought you were playing around. It was about the time you were going to split up. He was vile to me before Christmas. Yeah, but you're spending nights away, threatening to go and live with Becky. Baby, just want to make sure the baby's his. That's what I told Eva. Eva? You told her? She was there when I found the letter. Go on, if she goes mousing off. She won't. All this after I accused Tina of sleeping with him. What? I found a hotel reservation. I thought it were for her. It turned out it were for me. I feel a right prat. I know one thing. He's crazy about you. How do you know? Because he tells me. And if he didn't love you, he'd tell me that as well. You reckon? Yeah. He's so happy the baby's his. Just put the letter back. Before he realises it's gone, you can live happily ever after. Something just don't feel right. I know it sounds mad, but he can't know, can he? If he did, we'd know about it. You know what he's like. Just put the letter back. Simple as that. What else can you do? Put the letter back. At the end of it, you watch. Is that you, David? No, it's me. I heard about your set two with Tina. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so were David and Tina. I know. Found it in there, presumably. Oh. The hotel reservation. That's where I put it. Last night when I heard you so you wouldn't find it. Oh, uh, yeah. Me and Eva, we, um, we took some DVDs to watch. Wish I'd been here. Could have explained. Made a right fool of myself. Yes.
Hello? Hello? Is Kylie back yet? Oh, she's putting Lily down. I heard about her and Tina. Yeah, I could have done without that. Bet you could. You should have learnt to trust you by now. That's what I told her. Been with Nick all afternoon. Oh, yeah? How is he? Grumpy as anything. But who can blame him? I think I'd be the same in his shoes. Can't be much fun, can it, hobbling about? With your faculties not quite back to normal. You're just going to have to be patient. Well, we all are. Oh. Hey, you all right? Hey. How's Lily? Fine. Big day tomorrow? <laughs> Can't wait. Do you want a beer? Yeah, go on then. Oh, you could pour me one of those. <laughs> oh, steady on, Mother. I'm doing the cooking. I think I deserve one. Yeah, well, we don't want you drunk and disorderly, do we, in charge of another? I've got a better head for alcohol than you give me credit for. Oh, come off, mate. Yeah. Half a glass of cooking sherry and you're anybody's. <laughs> What is for tea? It's still going ahead. I told you it was just a stupid misunderstanding. It's sorted now. No! Look, I just want to forget all about it, okay? Right. See ya. Everything all right? Yeah. I'm just Eva. She wanted to make sure we're okay for the whole Tina thing. Serve you right if you weren't. Well, you can't blame me for being suspicious. I was confused. I still am. How come you had the hotel confirmation? Ah, uh, Leanne brought it round. Leanne? Yeah, found it at the hospital. Well, what was it doing at the hospital? Well, David must have dropped it when he was visiting me. So, um, how was Leanne? Oh, all right, considering she's got a million things to do now, Nick's home. All right. OK, which one do you want? When I can tie myself. Well, look, you don't have to wear a tie. The open neck look's always suited you. How about the new trouser look? Can't <laughs> get them on without help either. Well, I don't think the vicar would approve. Hi, Mum. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Oh, no, no, you're all right. <laughs> I've one for me, though. <laughs> yeah, OK, uh, yeah, we'll see you at the church. OK, bye. What's she want? Oh, she's just having a live note at the bistro with me, Gran and Eva. They're going to get some taxis from there. You should go. You deserve a drink, putting up with me. I'm not leaving you on your own. I don't need a minder. Please. Go. Right, OK, well, maybe sure. I'll just... Well, she never said it wasn't, but it get anyone down. No, I'm fine. It's just... Well, it's hard to find the balance between doing too much and... Doing too little. Mm, all my fellas were very happy for me to do too much. <laughs> well, it's not exactly the same, is it, Mum? They weren't brain damaged. Oh, could have fooled me. Gran, this is serious. I know, that's why I said it. She needs a bit of light relief. She needs a break from it all. No, I don't need a break from it all. I just need my husband back as soon as possible. Yeah, well, don't get your hopes up too high, love. I mean, he might never... Of course fall. he will. I know he will, because I know him. And he's come a long way already. He won't give up. He won't give up on himself or us. And that's why I love him. Well, you should be honoured, darling. I only ever wear ties for judges, normally. <laughs> Not getting ready? We've got ages. You look good. Mm, so do you. All day, every day. Oh, shut up. Come here. <sighs> Are you happy? Really? Yeah, really, really, really. Good. Because I feel the same. I just hope this is for keeps. What makes you say that? I don't know. It's just today. It brings it home to you. All the responsibility, like. But if there's anything bothering you, anything on your mind, I want you to tell me. Now. 
Wow, all this has really got to you, hasn't it? What happened to that wild child I fell in love with her? She's grown up. You can trust her, you know that, don't you? Yeah, I know. But come on, you need to get ready, because I know how long it takes you. Yeah, well, I'd be a lot quicker without the kids. Why don't you look going ahead with Gail? It'd make my life a lot easier. Yeah, OK, whatever you want. Anyway, I don't think Norris is quite ready to see you in your onesie. <laughs> Max! Come on, you coming with me? Oh, no. Not on my watch. I told you, you're bad. So you can just pirouette on your stilettos right out again. I'm not after any bother. I'm really, really sorry about yesterday. Apology accepted. You done? Not quite. I need the truth. Oh, not this again. Look, I know you're not having an affair, but you have got a secret you were going to tell me yesterday. Oh, Carla, it was just a hotel booking. Don't! Don't lie to me. Look, it's nothing to do with me, OK? I didn't want to get involved in the first place. It's David you are this out with. I just need to know what's going on inside his head. I don't want to lose him. Look, he'll never leave you. He'll do anything to keep you. I know that more than anything. Well, I wish I did. Please. I'm begging you. If you can't speak to David, speak to Nick. Nick? How would I want to do that? Oh, my God. You know. So David knows you. He knows everything. The church? Shouldn't you? You are Lily's godfather. I was just going. But another lie. I don't know what... Stop it! I am sick of people taking me for a fool. When I asked you whether David knew about you and me, you were lying through your flaming teeth. You knew all about the DNA test, so don't even try to deny it. What's happened? Don't worry. David's kept your little secret. I worked it out for myself. With a little help from Tina. Nobody else knows yet. I was protecting Leanne. All I wanted to do was preserve my marriage. Oh, and stuff what happens to me. Living with a bloke that knows I slept with his brother. When did you find out? Oh, it doesn't matter. He's forgiven you. He was never angry with you. Come on, let's get Lily christened. Get on with your life. Just let me get on with mine. So, he was angry with you? <laughs> David's not the type to let someone like this drop. Come on, we'll be late for the christening. Let's no. just get a cab. No, this is not over and done with. I don't know the half of this. You know what you need to know. He loves you and those kids. He wants a future with you. He wants that more than anything. Because he'd do anything for me, yeah. That's what Tina just said. So come on, Nick, what exactly has he done? Right. Fine. He was angry with me. I need to get back at me. So all that stuff at this flat, at the bistro. That was David. No, that's, that started ages ago. How long has it known? A few months. Months? All this time he's been playing happy families with me and the kids and then going out and trying to destroy okay, it. Okay, he was furious. Can you blame him? It's over with. I survived. Oh, honey, just. It was David. to kill you. Truth comes out. My marriage is over. And yours is too. You were that close to dying. You're walking with a stick. You, you've got brain damage. Yeah. But if I can deal with it, so can you. I'm not saying it's easy. you just got to want it enough. You think I don't want it? You think you were in a car crash? That were nothing next to my life. And then David came along and everything changed. I had a decent guy for once, a great dad for me kids. A shot at normal. 
So yeah, I want it, all right. You'll have it. It's there for the taking. What planet are you on? He tried to kill you, Nick. He tried to kill you. Well, he did something stupid. He was hurt. He was angry. Yeah, fortunately, I just happened to be behind the wheel of the van at the time. It's him. Be wondering where I am. It's decision time. All we've wanted out of this mess is for our families to be intact, and they can. They will be. You nearly died. Come on. You got a daughter waiting to be christened. Well, she said she didn't want to get ready with the kids nagging her. Well, she does know what time we're due to start, does she? Yes, Graham, what do you think she is? Stupid. Do you really want me to answer that? And it's not just Kylie. We're a flaming godfather down and all. Excuse me. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello again. Yeah. Um, I don't mean to press you, but we were due to begin ten minutes ago. Yeah, um, Ky um, Lily's mum's on her way now. Okay, good, good. It wouldn't be a problem ordinarily, but I've got a squash court booked for half past three. Oh, oh and you'll need to get change for that, won't you? We, yeah. And anyway, give us a shout when you're ready. I will. What are you doing, Mary? I, I was going to bring sweets, but I didn't want the papers rustling. Oh, please, Mary. This is a house of God. You can't sit there eating an apple. Well, he didn't mind Adam doing it. I think you'll find he did. What sort of a person brings an apple to a christening? Well, I think she's very wise. I've been to enough of these things to know they rarely start on time. Well, he never asked me for a lift. I thought he was coming with you. Oh, I shouldn't have left him. Why? Right. Something wrong? No, he was fine, but well, you know how his moods have been since the accident. What, you think he might not show? Oh, I don't know. I'll try phoning him again. No, it's OK, easy. Oh. And Kylie. Oh, thank God. Well, you're in the right place for that. Right. Okay. Unforgivable, maybe, but you! Kylie, I didn't want any of this. Or he made me. Will somebody please tell me what's going on? I did something terrible, Audrey. Something I'll always regret. And yeah, maybe I should have been honest with David, told him straight away, but... I never blamed you. I don't care about that anymore. <sighs> but you did care. God, how you've cared and your brother cop for it. Yeah. I know what you did. And I feel sick that I've shared the same bed, the same house, the same life as you. That you've been around my kids. I think we should go. What's she going on about? What's this got to do with you? How did you expect me to react? Eh? And find it funny or just shrug it off? Like a normal human being. Yeah, you should have kicked off. Given him a slap, chucked me out. Not played happy families with me and start a hate campaign against Nick. You knew what happened. All that time, you were behind the vendor. Am I hearing this right? Have you two had some sort of an affair? I'm sorry, Leanne. It was a one off on Christmas night. We'd split up. Oh, you didn't let the grass grow, did you? Why waste a full poster, eh? I was hurt. I would have told you, but Kylie got pregnant. And what? Slipped your mind, did he? Right, if I could turn back... Leanne! Please tell me this isn't true. You tell her, David. Tell her the truth. The whole truth and nothing but... No! Okay, then I will. He would be behind the breaking. The money going missing, the poison pen letter, all of it. But when that didn't destroy Nick, he decided to go on better. Please don't, Kyle. You tried to kill him. Is that what she's telling me? Well, is it? Is it? Leanne? Leanne, what's up? Mum! Oh, you wait there. I'll look after your mum. Jason, keep an eye on him for me. Can you look after Max yeah, as well? Yeah, sure, all right. You go. Um, oh. 
Well, that is definitely not a good sign. What on earth is going on? Don't ask me. Do you think all of this will impact on the buffet arrangements? Oh, yeah, it's bound to. I mean, at the very least, the corner of the ham sandwich is a bit curling. Been worse. At least the kid turned out to be David's. Oh, yeah, that, that makes a difference. Oh, well, technically, they weren't together when he... When he slept with his brother's wife in our honeymoon suite. Oh, well, when you put it like that. How long were they, um... Said it was just one time. He would. Look, I'm not saying I'm blameless. Far from it. Hey! Don't you go making excuses for him. After all the tears you've shed over the last few weeks. No, but what I'm saying is, if he told me about it, then... Well, maybe we could have dealt with it, but he didn't, did he? He lied for months and months. While he worked side by side with her. I, I can't get my head around that. Not the one I thought he was. Come on, let's get you on. Yeah. Sling your hook, hop along. You're not wanted. At least let me explain. She's got nothing to say to you. Get lost. The hermit meets the empress and justice prevails. You've obviously got a very happy marriage. That's right. Is this going to take long? Right. You've got the fool. Well, that makes two of us. The fool indicates change, a new phase or a new beginning in your life. Does that mean anything to you? I'm sorry, I refuse to engage with this charade of oh, Yes, it does. Just see what it refers to. The star. What does that mean? It means all your dreams will come true and all those of your loved ones. You know, I, I, I thought they might somehow. <laughs> the cards are reading very clear indeed. Did you say you wanted to go to the Tower Ballroom? Is this something close to your heart? Or something you desire? Yes. Well, it, it was. I used to imagine myself under the mirror ball, dancing so close to you by the carpenters. Do you know it? Yes, it's lovely. I think you should return there. The cards are all speaking in one voice. You've got to follow your dreams. I have listened to some arrant nonsense in my time. If this is what you truly want to do, you must go back there, Haley, today. I promise you, it's your destiny. You can scrabble around for excuses all you want. There are none. This is evil. Pure and simple. Damn right. I saw it close up with Richard. Now I'm seeing it with you. No. You're wrong. Look, I only did it because I didn't want to lose you and the kids. All right, I love you. His last words. Time and again, I've given you the benefit of the doubt. Since when? Eh? All my life, I've been second best. I mean, you never even wanted me. You wanted to get rid of me. Yeah, right now, I wish I had done. No, come on, this isn't getting us anywhere. Now, you don't mean that. I mean every word. Come on, love. Kylie. Please, I need you. No. You need help. Me and you are finished. We're going home. You even think of following. Kylie! Gran, can you talk to him, please? Tell him. Oh, David. I'm sorry. I wouldn't know what to say. there watching him old Lily. It's my job to keep her and Max safe. The thought of what he'd done, I just... It's all right. You don't have to explain. Did you catch up, William? Did you blank me? What are you going to do? 
beg, pray. I've got to get her back somehow. I'll take any blame you need me to. You can say I'm the one that did all the running, it wasn't you. <laughs> no. Thanks. I think she's heard enough lies. What about you? What are your plans? Well, I don't know. I certainly don't involve David, that's for sure. <laughs> Are you going to go back to the flat? Not unless I'm invited. I'll be just uh, keep on the sofa in the office. Don't be daft. You're coming home with us. No arguments. We're still a family. <laughs> I suppose you want me to clear up. No, 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 no. Stay as long as you need. Well, I might be longer than you think. Do you want to talk about it? No. There's nothing left really to say. You get off, you go that squash game. No, 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 it doesn't matter. I just want to be sure that you're all right. All right. It's over, because I'm not all right. I don't know if I ever will be. I, I just lost my wife and kids. They're the only thing that I've ever cared about. There's no getting them back. Let this call me. I know you're hurting, but we can sort it out. She'll come round. You've forgiven her far worse. Well, it doesn't excuse it, though, does it? Hmm? What about the pair are you thinking of? I think there was more drinking than thinking going on. Wrong place, wrong time. Oh, Nick, come on. You're making it sound like it was an accident. Well, it was, pretty much. Sight more than what David did well. You gonna tell Ian that he tried to... I don't know. Won't change anything between me and her. Ooh. It's David. I'm taking Lily upstairs. Get rid of him. I told you not to come back here. Look, I just want to talk to my wife and If you don't go, I'm calling the police. This is my house. Not anymore, it isn't. I'll tell the police everything. You won't do that. Right now, yes, you would. To what you've done, I don't even recognise you. You're nothing to me. Well, I'm not going to cause any trouble. I just need to speak to Kylie and Lily, that's all. I'll count to five. Just go, will you? For all our sakes. Hey, come on, sweetheart. You did what you had to do. 